Hey there, beautiful soul. How are you? I hope you're doing fine and welcome to the divine. It is me here, Dion, and I'm really excited to welcome you to this very, very special video. This is something unprecedented that's never been done before because in today's pick a card or pick a map, we're going to figure out the exact location of your soulmate. I am going to say this. I have never done something like this before, nor have I ever seen someone do anything like this before. So I actually have no idea how this is going to resonate with each and every one of you. But since Earth is a huge place, I decided to narrow it down to about 26 piles. Each one of them is represented by a letter of the alphabet, A to Z. I'm now asking you to please really tune in with your intuition. There is 26 options, not four, not five, not eight, 26, which is why it's really important that you focus on all of them for a while and see which one of them is truly capturing your attention, which one is truly calling your name. I do recommend for this reading, maybe choose about two to three piles you could do more or less whatever you feel like okay trust your own gut instinct choose as many until you're like okay now i have my answer i don't need to hear anything else it can be said that we have more than one soulmate so it could be that you have multiple soulmates from completely different places all around the world i'm asking you to please accept this message with an open mind and an open heart you never know where your soulmate and the people that you meet could be from. So again, don't judge, simply accept. If you truly do feel like I'm telling you something that's not resonating with you, then maybe it wasn't your pal. You can still change it up, all right? It's a general reading. If there's like a favorite letter that you have, or maybe like your initial, you can choose it. But at the same time, I'm also asking you to really focus on these cards on these maps and the letters and see which one am I drawn to for an unexplainable reason like there's really no rational reason I'm just drawn to that I just think this one has a message for me then choose that one I mean obviously you could go with your letter the letter of your name whatever because I don't know if it's gonna resonate or not you'll find out when you do it okay if you truly have no clue which one to pick and you don't feel like your intuition is strong enough, you can still use something like a random letter generator or something like that online or just close your eyes and point at one. But if you really want this reading to be as accurate as possible, try to fully own the pile that you pick. Pick it because your intuition said, hey, this is the one for you, okay? You don't know why you're drawn to that one, but that's the one for you. I'm gonna let you focus on these pals a little bit. I'll put some music over them. And as soon as you are ready, as soon as you've made your decision, please head over to the description or the chapters on this video and you will be able to find your reading right there. Now I'll see you at your reading. Hey there, Group A. Welcome to your reading. I'm really glad to have you here with me today. And we're going to find out everything, mainly about the whereabouts and some basic info about your soulmate. soulmate. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. There's many different piles, and that is because the more piles I have, the more specific I can get with each pile. 
So if it doesn't end up resonating, that might have not been the pile for you, okay? That's all I can say. Let's take a look at what card you've got for your soulmate. It is the, oh, the Magician. And this tells me, first of all, they could be an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's the kind of energy that I'm feeling around your soulmates. They could be an air sign. Also, they are a very successful person. It's like whatever they touch their hands on, it turns to gold. With little materials or with little resources, they can create big things. They can create everything. Also, I'm getting they could have had some sort of rags to riches story or something like that. Like they started out with nothing and ended up on top. Like they are very powerful. They could be a spiritual person. They could be using the law of attraction to their advantage. Yeah, there's something about their aura that is quite magical. I feel like this person is on a journey of becoming the, the best, the truest version of themselves. And there's something about a magnetic aura that I'm getting. Also, when you are around this person, around your soulmate, you're going to feel it because it's, it's just that indescribable aura. Like you're going to know. You can sense that this person is there without physically seeing them. You can, it's like you can feel them. You can feel their presence. It's kind of weird to describe, but that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this. When it comes to who they are as a person, I would say they are quite mysterious, magical. They could be, you know, into fantasy. Like I'm, for some reason, I'm getting like Harry Potter or something like that, or The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. They really like fictional kinds of things. It could be books, TV shows, something like that. That's what I'm getting about your soulmate. Uh, they also, some people tell them, you know, they live in their own little fantasy world. And they also could have some sort of mythical or mystical nickname that they've created for themselves. Or it could be that their actual name is quite magical, sounds quite magical. Or it could be a kind of name that means power, magic, or creation. Those could be the possible name meanings for your soulmate. Then I'm also getting, they might have been in some sort of forum online or on their social media. They might be not be using their actual name, their real name, but they are using some sort of uh, mystical username or mythical username, okay? So that's how you can also recognize your soulmate because they don't really go by their full name. You know how some people on social media, they use their full name, just their, okay, my first and last name. No, with your soulmate, it's like they use some sort of mystical or magical name, okay? That's just the vibe I'm getting. So I'd say let's open up the map and find out where your soulmate is from. All right, it, keep in mind, it is going to give you a very specific location. Just take a moment to open this one up. Don't wanna damage it. Okay, let's find out where it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's definitely North America for you guys. We're getting Mainly Canada, it's pretty much the entirety of Canada for you guys, but it could also be the north of the United States. Like here we've got a huge part, you know, Canada is such a huge country, so there's a great likelihood that this person, your soulmate, is Canadian. We've got Ontario here, we've got the big city of Toronto, and we've got Quebec Quebec City, Montreal, Ottawa. Those are just the kinds of cities that we're seeing here. And there's also like a huge chunk of the US that we're seeing here. So we've got Wisconsin, Chicago, city of Chicago, Michigan. Then we've got Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island. And the cutoff is New York, like New York City. So it could be anywhere from like New York City to all these states of the United States that we're seeing here or Canada. I'd say pretty much, yeah, all of Canada or like this part of Canada is where they're most likely going to be from. Or again, they could be from one of these states of the United States. All right. 
for your soulmate, I'm getting the info that they have lived both in big cities, but also on like the countryside, on more rural places. So or it could be that they were born somewhere more rural, but now they live in a more crowded place, like in a in a city, in a big city, large city, or the other way around, that they were born a city girl, city boy, and then they moved somewhere more quiet. So I'm, I'm getting this sort of change, like this desire magician, like the desire to like change something about the surroundings. So that's why they decided to do it. Okay, so where is your soulmate from? It is North America, but more specifically, this area, okay? So like a large part of Canada, like a lot of your soulmates, I mean, a lot of your guys' soulmates are gonna be somewhere from Ontario here or Quebec, because if it was solely the United States, we wouldn't get this big of a portion of Canada. That's what I'm thinking. So there's definitely some Canadian soulmates here that you have, maybe some that live here in New York or Massachusetts, Connecticut, Vermont, Maine, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. Now we're back in Canada. When it comes to cities, we're getting the cities, Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec City, maybe some smaller cities in some of these states. And we do have New York here, but it's sort of cut off. So I don't know, maybe for some of you guys, it's gonna be New York, but yeah, it is It is a little bit cut off, but it's still on the map. So that's like the border, okay? <laughs> all right, uh, thank you guys for watching. I can't have these all of these groups be too long because there's 26 of them. I gotta get to the other ones as well. Here's the first one that I'm doing. So I'm still trying to find my pace here. Thank you guys for being here with me. If this reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, let's start a discussion in the comments. I'm very excited to hear what you guys have to say. Like the video, please. It helps the algorithm so that more people can see this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, please feel free to join the community. I always upload fun videos like this. And if you want a personal reading, I do offer personal readings on my Etsy shop only. Please don't listen to any comments telling you to text any WhatsApp number. Those are all scammers. The only way to get a personal reading is directly through the link in my description, video description. Okay, thank you guys for being here with me. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and goodbye. Hey there, group B and welcome to your reading. You're the second group that I'm doing and I still need to adapt the right pace for these piles because there's 26 of them and I don't want to spend too much time on each one of them individually. At the same time, I do want to give you all the information that I can get. So I'm still figuring things out, but we're going to start off by actually giving you a little background info about your soulmate. Let's see what kind of card your soulmate is represented by. It is the wheel or the wheel of fortune hmm. this sort of gives me the impression that your person your soulmate is ever changing for some reason i'm getting you're also meeting this person like multiple times throughout your lifetime like there's not just one phase that you're spending together it's like you meet again and again like the, you keep being drawn to each other that's the kind of energy that i'm getting also, here's the thing regarding the location as well, it's ever changing. So that's why it's so hard to say for your person, where are they even from? Because it feels like they have origins one place, then they were born in another place, then they moved around quite a bit while they were growing up. Now they live in a completely different place as well. It's like they, they're never really tied to one place. That's the thing with your person. Like they're always constantly moving around or they have been moving around constantly throughout the entirety of their life, life, <laughs> lives. And that's the thing, which is why I'm really excited actually to see and really curious what kind of place this map will end up pointing us to. Yeah, when it comes to who they are, I would say they're also a kind of person who likes changing up their look a lot, or maybe they dress depending on how they feel. It's like 
they could be quite colorful in their expression or at least they just have a lot of versatility like i'm getting something about them is that it's never boring with them they're very they on the other hand they could end up being a little bit moody like you can tell if they're mad upset you know they wear their emotions on their sleeves that's the kind of person that i'm getting with the wheel of fortune also they have a very interesting name to put it quite frankly i feel like this person first of all they have multiple names they go by multiple names or, or they have some very interesting double name that they go by it's a very long name rather unusual and it's unusual because it's a combination of multiple common names or maybe even rare names that makes it very very unique name so you're never going to find another person with that name because it's a very interesting combo like i'm getting this word they have a combo a combination of names and it could also be a name that means quite literally that means adaptable or lucky or something like that or it could also be a name that was passed on to them throughout different generations. So they might have inherited their name from some sort of family member or for even from a tribe. That's just the kind of info I'm getting. Also with the wheel, they could be a fire sign. They're very likely to be a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Sagittarius. Now, enough with that, I'd say, now that we got the basic info about them, let's find out where the map is going to point us to. What kind of location will it be for your soulmate? Let's find out. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. Nonetheless, I try to make them as specific as possible. Earth is a huge place. It will be quite specific, so if it doesn't end up resonating, maybe it's just not your reading. But let's see, where is this person's soulmate from group B? They appear. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this is Western Australia. We've only got one city, <laughs> Perth. So I'd say, okay, your person is likely from Australia. They likely live in Australia. That's what I can say. The only city that we're getting is Perth. I'm sure there's other cities too, but um, yeah. I wouldn't really happen to know any of them. So it looks like they are somewhere from this coast. That's where the cutoff is, is like in the middle of Australia. I mean, they could be from the other side as well, but I'm getting it will mostly be from this side, like from the west side, west coast of Australia. I'm not sure if there's any islands here that we're not seeing, but a huge chunk of this map is just water is just the sea so that's also something very interesting so in case there's some sort of island here but i don't think there is if there is it must be extremely small then they might originate from that island as well but i'm just getting australia so this could be where they live where their origins are where they're currently at yeah that's all i can say western australia it is for you guys and there's not really much to uncover on this map, so that's all I can say. I hope that the reading resonated with you guys. If you enjoyed it, if you thought it was fun, please be sure to subscribe. I always post fun predictions like this, fun readings. Also, let's start a discussion in the comments. I'm open to reading what you guys think. I'd love to hear it. And yeah, like the video so that more people can see it. It helps the algorithm. If you like the video, it's gonna be recommended more. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for staying here with me up until this point. I also offer personal readings. If you want a personal reading, the only way to get a personal reading from me is directly through the link in my description, which is gonna take you to my Etsy shop. Please do not trust people in the comments claiming to be me telling you to message any type of number those are all scammers okay thank you for being here with me today i hope you have a great rest of the day wherever you are on this planet thank you and i hope to see you again soon goodbye hey there group c and welcome to your reading i'm really glad to be the person to give you some more details about your soulmate in today's reading. 
trust me, you've never seen everything as specific as this. I was once again really creative and I came up with this concept of trying to locate them on a map. So we're gonna see where this one leads us. It might or might not work. I hope it works for you. So we'll see. First of all, before we get to the exact location, we're going to get started with some basic info about your soulmate. Let's reveal the tarot card that represents your soulmate. It is justice. Okay, so here's what I'm getting right away. Uh, first of all, when it comes to astrology, they are likely or most likely to be an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or if not, at least they embody a lot of air personality, a lot of air-like qualities, okay? And if we wanna get a little more specific, I'm gonna go as far as saying this. Here's the thing. They have some sort of academic title attached to their name, or if they're not quite there yet on their journey, at least they're aspiring to, maybe they're currently studying to get this academic title attached to their name. <laughs> Generally speaking, they're a very successful and ambitious person. Like if they have a goal in mind, they'll be very, very productive, they'll be determined, and they have so much discipline to get this goal accomplished. So this is definitely a hustler. At the same time, they're more on the quiet, down-to-earth side. Like, I wouldn't describe them as someone that's cocky about their accomplishments. You know, they're a silent hustler. They love going for what they want, and they always seem to get it. So I am seeing them as some sort of CEO, or they might be uh, the founder of some sort of company. Also, on the other hand, I see this as someone who holds a degree in something, who is very successful. I'm hearing PhD, I'm getting PhD or some sort of other degree. In general, they're a very fair person. They could be doing something with the law, but even if not, they're just a very impartial, at least they try to be as impartial as possible. They like to listen to everyone and get a very non-biased perspective on things. So this is a very drama-free person and a more I won't lie, this is a more realistic person. So this is probably someone who thinks with their head as opposed to their heart. Now, when it comes to this person's name, there is some information coming through regarding that. And they have a common name that has a slightly different spelling to what you're used to seeing in regards to that name. So it's like, it, it is not a rare name, but it's like that common name is spelled a little differently, or there's a little tweak to that common name to make it a little more unique. So that's how you're going to recognize them. And now let's get to the location. Keep in mind, it's still a general reading, although I did try and make it very, very specific. So that's why we ended up with 26 piles. Okay, now we're going to find out where your soulmate is from physically. Keep in mind, it could be their origins, where they originate from, where their ancestry is from, or it could be where they're currently living, studying, working. Could be anything since it's a general reading, so it could be any of them. Let's find out where is this person's soulmate from. All right, finally. Mm, okay, South America, baby. So we've got the North of South America, if that makes sense. So we've got countries like Brazil, Peru. The city Lima is highlighted here on this map. I'm not entirely sure what country this is. Could it be Ecuador? Forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> it's sort of cut off. And we've got Bolivia, Paraguay, Chile, Chile, Argentina, and Uruguay. So some more highlighted cities are Santiago, Asuncion, Buenos Aires, Sa Sao Paulo, Curitiba, Goiania. Oh my god, sorry if that pronunciation was terrible. <laughs> Trying my best here. And it appears to be that your soulmate is 
from one of these places, it's either they live there in the moment or they originate from there, okay? So South America it is. The cutoff is here at the top where Ecuador is and at the bottom where Argentina is. That would be the cutoff. Now, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. If you enjoyed the video, let me know down below. Let's start a discussion and let's see what kind of results other people got. I'd be interested to know what you guys thought of this reading. Please subscribe to the channel. I always post fun little videos and predictions like this so you won't miss another one. Yeah, like the video because it really helps the algorithm. It's going to make sure that the video is going to be recommended to more people. So if you respect the effort that I put into this, that would mean everything to me, okay? Thank you guys. I do offer personal readings. If that's something you're interested in, the only way to get a personal reading is directly through the link in my description that is going to lead you to my Etsy shop. Do not believe any scammer that is pretending to be me in the comment section telling you to message a number on WhatsApp is all fake, all scammers. Do not trust it. Okay, with that being said, thank you guys for being here with me and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Hey there, group D. If you chose the letter D, then this will be your reading about your soulmate. I'm very glad to have you here today with me in this reading. I'm still figuring out the pace because you're the fourth pile now that I'm doing this for. I'm trying to figure out what the right timing is for each pile. I specifically wanted to keep it short so that we could have as many piles as possible. And that is also why I was able to get really specific with the location. So if it doesn't end up resonating, well, it is very specific. Well, then that just might not have been the pal for you, okay? So we are going to get started with some basic info about your soulmate. Let's see what kind of tarot card your soulmate is represented by. It is the Hanged Man. Hmm. So this makes me think of someone that is very non-attached or someone that gets bored really quickly. They want to experience a lot of things in so little time. They do not like to be constrained. I'm getting they are a free spirit, a free soul, and if it's one thing they do not want, it is commit. <laughs> Which is why I'm getting the message. It could be quite hard for you to find this person or this whoever we're talking about here and starting something serious with this person because of the fact that they don't like to feel like they, you know, they belong to someone. This person believes that, you know, people don't belong to people. They want to be their own free person and they are looking for their counterpart. Also, I'm getting they are more of the single kind of type, like they would rather be single than be in a relationship with a different person each month. If they get in touch with someone, if they end up with someone, it's because they really, really care. So this is why I'm thinking they had very limited experiences with relationship. I mean, I don't know how far this goes since it's a general reading, but this person really doesn't like the idea of reserving themselves for just one person. So they are actually the most likely to end up in, a, in an open relationship. But keep in mind, it doesn't have to resonate. It's just an option that I'm seeing. I would say they're quite the creative person. Like they come up with various solutions to common problems or like very create, creative ways to solve problems. Like they see things from a different perspective as the hanged man suggests. Astrologically speaking, I would say they're most likely a water sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If not, they likely just embody a lot of water-esque qualities, all right? I think this person just wants to express themselves. They wanna be who they are and they don't like to be limited. There's also another uh, piece of information that is coming through and that is the fact that they do not go by their birth name, okay? So they have some sort of nickname that they like to use with their friends, probably including you, and like only ever their parents are like the only people that will call this person by their birth name. 
other for all other purposes they're gonna use this nickname that they've created or maybe it's their second name their middle name but i'm just i'm just like getting they don't really like using their first name for some reason like what they were assigned to at birth so they go by something else and i'm getting like yeah maybe only like their parents or like people they're really really close with get to call them their actual name so yeah this could or could not resonate but i do feel like it was meant for someone here that's listening in they could also have a name that quite literally means surrender or sacrifice or sight something like that i'm also getting that they're name gets mixed up quite a bit maybe they also have a more difficult name that is harder to pronounce or harder to remember to most people okay now let's get to the most anticipated part where are they <laughs> keep in mind it could pertain to anything it could be their physical location where they are right now where they're studying working living or it could be where their origins are from, their ancestry. It could be anything, okay? Since it's a general reading, I didn't want to limit myself to any of these aspects. So I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna need you to use your own intuition when it comes to that. Let's find out where is your soulmate. It will be a very specific location. So. Oh. Okay. First of all, what we saw is just a large body of water. It's the sea. And here we've got about three or four countries. So they are from either Europe or North Africa is what I'm getting. So it appears like your soulmate is from either Europe or North Africa. To be more specific, this is where it cuts off. We've got Spain, we've got the entirety of Portugal, so they might be Portuguese or they might be Spanish. We've got the cities that are highlighted are Porto, Lisbon, Madrid, Seville, Malaga and Valencia. Uh, Gibraltar, okay I just look it up, it is a British Overseas Territory. Interesting. On the other hand, we've also got the country of Morocco. And the cities that are highlighted, highlighted are Fes, Casablanca, Marrakesh, Agadir. Here at the bottom, we can see there's some islands as well. So they could be from an island. We've got Santa Cruz, Tenerife, and uh, Gran Canaria as well. They are also very likely to be Moroccan, or I believe this would be Algerian, but I'm not sure. They could be Algerian at the same time. It's quite cut off. Same with whatever country this is. Wait, let me look it up. To be honest, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using Google Maps as well. Okay, this appears to be the border of like Andorra, okay? So they could be from Andorra as well, but it's sort of cut off. So I believe for the majority of you guys, your person, your soulmate is gonna be from one of these countries, okay? Spain, Portugal, or even Morocco. They could also be from an island once again. And what is this, Gada? Um, this one appears to be cut off as well. It's Ponta Delgada, okay? I've enlarged the map a little bit on my desktop right there. So, yeah, that's as much as I can say for you guys. This is where your soulmate appears to be from or in, okay? Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, please like the video because that helps recommend the video to more people. And I would love if as many people as possible would get to see this video. So yeah, also let's start a conversation down below in the comments. Let me know what pile you chose. Let's talk to other people what they got as their result. I'll be really interested to know. Please subscribe to the channel because I always do fun predictions like this so that you won't miss another video. And one last information, I also offer personal readings. The only way to get a personal reading by me is 
through the link in the description, which is going to lead you directly to my Etsy shop. Anyone in the comment section claiming to be me asking you to message any sort of WhatsApp number is a scammer, okay? That is not me, please don't fall for it. And also inform other people when you see something like this happen in the comment section. All right, thank you guys for watching. I had a blast with you and I hope to see you guys again soon, all right? Goodbye. Mwah. Hey there, Group E. Welcome to your reading. I'm really excited to have you here today. And as you know, we're going to get to know the whereabouts of your soulmate. Ooh, I've done this reading four times now. Still, every time I get excited because I have no idea what's about to expect us, where this is going to take us. So before we actually get started with that exact location, we're going to get to know your soulmate a little bit better. Let's see what kind of tarot card represents them. We've got the fool. And that makes me think of someone that can come off as a little childlike or even on the downside childish, but keep in mind, this is someone who fully owns the way that they are because they are not putting up with how society or how maybe their family wants to condition them. I feel like this person is, on the positive side, an eternal child, and they could be helping you rediscovering this childlike side of yourself. Like, they really bring all the fun into your life. This is someone with an amazing sense of humor, someone with only good vibes. It's like they are hugely optimistic, which sometimes can be their downfall as well. They do not want to accept a no, like they they always have so much energy, so much motivation, and it can be hard to accept the fact that not everyone is tailored this way. So yeah, I would say this person is more of a risk taker. Also, the fool could indicate someone that is pretty young in age, so you might meet this person while you're still pretty young, or they are still pretty young. If not age, it is most certainly the mentality that this person has is that of a very young person that just refuses to grow up. Now, when it does come to their name, I do think it's something rather short, really cute and adorable. You know, these kinds of names that sound really cute on babies that would sound adorable adorable on children, but where you would think, um, I can't imagine a grandpa or a grandma with this name. <laughs> well, that's exactly the kind of name that this person got. They just got like a name that resonates more with younger people, like that just feels like it belongs to someone that is young of age. I hope that makes sense. Also, it could be sort of like a you know, since there's all this playful energy around this person, it could be a really funny name too, or they could be making up, they could have made up a silly nickname for themselves and you're thinking, why would they ever call themselves that? Like, it's a very random name that they have. Yeah, a random nickname or maybe something they've made up themselves, how they like to be called. They're just a very free spirit overall. And also astrologically speaking, I would say they're most likely to be an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is all the info I have on your soulmate. Now let's get to uh, the map and let's see where this person is from. Now, keep in mind, I've said this before, but I'm saying it again. First of all, I need my scissors. Uh, <laughs> So, this is a very specific location, hence the 26 piles. So, it will be rather limited in what places this person could be from. So, if it doesn't resonate, maybe it's just not your pile. Also, I do want to say this location could be pertaining to them in any way. It could be where they're currently living, residing, studying, working, but it could also be where you'll meet them, or it could be where their roots are from, their origins, okay? Trust your intuition on how the information is relevant in regards to your soulmate. I'm just the messenger, you're the interpreter. Okay, let's get this started. Let's see where is your soulmate from or in. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I'm seeing Thailand, I'm seeing Cambodia, uh, Laos, I hope that's pronounced correctly. I'm terribly sorry in case I'm pronouncing 
any of this wrong. We've got Myanmar or Bur Burma, 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 Bangladesh, Nepal, and I believe a little bit of India as well. So as you can see, it's definitely South Asia or even like Southeast Asia that this person is from. I'm going to even read the highlighted cities. So we've got Kathmandu, Kolkata, Napivata, I don't even know, uh, Navitav. Um, okay, it's just too difficult for me to pronounce. We've got Bangkok, uh, Vientiane, Hanoi, and oh, a little bit of China as well. We've got the city of Kuming. We've got a little bit of India right here. We've got Kolkata and these major provinces, I believe that's what they're called. Then we've got the country of Nepal, we've got Bhutan, and we've got Bangladesh in its entirety. Okay, so up here we've got Tibet, so they could be Tib Tibetan. I'm terribly sorry if I was wrong. Uh, we've also got a little bit of China. We've got Yunnan, uh, Hanoi. Then down here we've got Thailand, and I think most of it, or... Hmm. No, yeah. Well, well, most of it, yeah, pretty much. Cambodia and Vietnam, so they could be from Vietnam as well. All right, these are all the countries and areas. So the cutoff seems to be like right there. For some reason, Vietnam and Cambodia, they're a little cut off, so they could be like maybe from the north. So yeah. Um, on the other hand, I don't know if there's going to be another map with these countries on them. So take it however it resonates. It's definitely an experimental, but this is very, very exciting for me. <laughs> okay. And I'd be interested to know what this little strip of land is. Um, according to Google, it is the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Okay. Great, great. So, yeah. This appears to be the area of where your soulmate is from, all right, Group E? Thank you so much for being here with me today. If it resonated, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so that more people can see, because if you do like it, it gets recommended to more people. So if you appreciate the effort that I put into this, I would appreciate for you to like it. And also, if you want a personal reading, I do offer them down below in the description. The only way to get it is directly through my Etsy shop. Please do not trust any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me. I would never ask you to message any sort of number, okay? Thank you guys. With that being said, I hope you have a great rest of the day and I hope it makes sense to you, all right? Now, goodbye. Hey there, Group F. Welcome to your reading. I'm glad to have you here today. And let's take a look at your soulmate's whereabouts. Where are they on this earth? But first of all, let's figure out some general information about them. Since we do have 26 piles and there's a whole lot of information to get to, we're gonna limit ourselves to one card and one map, all right? So let's see what kind of tarot card your soulmate is represented by. The moon, wow, okay. So this is likely someone who's got that mysterious vibe to them. Like you just look at them first of all and you fall in love. This is a very beautiful person, not just on the outside. Well, first of all, they are gorgeous. Let's not deny that. But even on the inside, when you get to know them, it, it just feels like they are an endless pit of like information, stories, knowledge, and they are rather, I would say rather introverted. They decide what kind of information they're going to reveal to you at what stage of the relationship, like you're going to be with them for years, or you're going to be with them for a long time and still get to know different sides of them. Every now and then are things that you haven't known before. So yeah, when it comes to the astrology, I would say they're most likely a water sign. I see them someone that is very fluid in a way, very creative too. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, all right. 
but don't limit yourself to the zodiac signs. It could be anyone. It could also be someone that just has a lot of or embodies a lot of water-esque energy. This person is likely very intuitive. They could even be psychic. Like they could have some clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient gifts, whether they know it or not. But I believe this is a very spiritual person. They are very, very much aware. If there's one word to describe them, I would describe them as someone that's aware, that can read people very well. This part of who they are, they don't show you their full self right away. You know, these types of people who tell you their whole life story in one evening, that's not the type of person your soulmate is like at all. I mean, they might reveal some information to you, but it's like, yeah, but you, you, you still don't really know them. There's so much excitement about getting to know this person. And it's like you dig, you, you dig deeper and deeper and there's always new things that you learn about. Your soulmate could also be some sort of artist. If it's not their full-time job, it's likely something they do in their free time. They could be an artist. I see them painting or like dancing or doing any type of art, okay? What they would consider to be their art, that's what they do. And that's what they're very, very passionate about. Music as well, could be anything, okay? Now, let's finally get to the most anticipated part of the reading. I do have some disclaimers that I tell every single pile, keep in mind. We got 26 piles today so that I can get as specific as possible with each of the individual piles. So I do believe if you were so drawn to the pile F that there is some truth to this map, some sort of information that you are meant to hear in regards to this location. So let's find out where your soulmate is. Keep in mind, this could be where they're currently living, residing, working, studying, but it could also be where their roots are, where they're from, their ancestors, okay? So anything. I'm just the messenger, you're the interpreter. So use this information in whatever way. All right, so your soulmate appears to be from... Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got North Korea, South Korea, a little bit of China, and I believe most of Japan. Okay, so that's that. This is your info. This is where your soulmate is from. So the cities that are highlighted on this map would be Osaka and Tokyo. Then we've got uh, Pyongyang. I mean, how likely is that? I don't know, but we've also got South Korea, Seoul, and Harbin in China. So yeah, that is your answer. We got pretty much your soulmate is somewhere from a surrounding country of the Sea of Japan. Does that make sense? Yeah. So anywhere from here, any of these places and countries. I do have to admit I'm going to cheat a little bit because I opened up this place on Google Maps. They're likely from the east of China or from Korea somewhere, north or south, or somewhere from Japan. Maybe this could also be the place where you guys are meeting your soulmate. So yeah, whatever you want to do with this info, I hope that I was able to help you out. I hope that it was helpful. And if it was, please subscribe to the channel. That would mean a lot. And like this video so that more people get recommended to this video. I put a lot of effort in it. So if you appreciate it, that would mean more than anything to me. Also, let's start a discussion down below. Let me hear what pals you chose, how you liked the reading, what came out of your reading. If you want a personal reading from me, the only option to get one is directly through the description that leads you to my Etsy. Please never ever trust any scammers in the comments pretending to be me telling you to message some sort of phone number. They're all fake and please also point them out if you do see them. Thank you guys for being here with me today and I hope to see you guys soon. Goodbye. Hey there, G. What's up? I hope you're doing well and welcome to your reading. Hope it finds you well. Today we're going to take a look at the whereabouts of your soulmate. Damn, I've done this reading a couple of times. It was a surprise each time and I can't wait to see where this map is going to take us. 
But before we get to that part, let's actually find out some more details around your soulmate and who they are. So let's see what kind of tarot card your soulmate is represented by. The Chariot. Well, let me give you the news. Your soulmate is actually currently working towards his biggest desires. By nature, he, he, they, she, I'm sorry, no gender, they, whatever gender they are, naturally, they are extremely ambitious and they will do whatever it takes to reach their goals to get wherever they want to get. I'm getting they didn't grow up with much, so this is like why it's even more important to them. Like they really work for what they want and you know, they have this kind of like attitude like nothing is free in life, work for what you want. They are a workforce, they are a hustler. So yeah, they are definitely the opposite of lazy. They are ambitious and very, very successful actually in their life and with what they do. They always follow their dreams. No dream is too big for them. They can really achieve anything that they set their mind to. This is very, very beautiful. This person has a lot of masculine energy, okay? So very forceful energy. And that has nothing to do with gender, by the way. Just pointing that out, any gender can have this so-called masculine energy. Very forceful, driven, and also on the flip side, they are more of a mind person like mind over heart i'm just gonna say it. i'm just gonna say it like that so they will always prioritize what they're thinking as to opposed to what they're feeling when it comes to astrology astrologically speaking i'm thinking they're most likely gonna be a water sign so cancer scorpio Pisces. Also, I'm getting a random message in regards to the way they present themselves. They dress very what is okay considered typically male. So they they e they either dress in a very masculine or maybe tomboyish way. When it comes to who they are, they just fully own it. Like there's no one who can diminish their sense of self worth because. They have just developed their own sense of self, their pride in a way where no one can tell them otherwise, where no one can tell them, hey, you suck. I mean, I don't know how far it's gonna go and how serious this is with your soulmate, but I am gonna say in the most extreme case, this person could even be a little patriotic or maybe have a little too much pride, okay? I'm actually getting this person is very, very proud of where they come from, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out. I'm very curious to see where that actually is. They're very, very proud of their lineage, of their heritage, and I'm also getting the message, another message is coming through that if this is a romantic soulmate of you, okay, only if it's like romantic, and you're going to marry this person, they wouldn't give up their name. Like they would want you to take their last name. Okay, it's either that you're both gonna keep your names, option A, or option B, that you're gonna take their name. But for some reason, there's some sort of history, long history behind their family name, behind their last name, that they really, really wanna preserve, that they wanna keep this tradition alive of having this last name. It's really, really important to them, so they wouldn't give it up. So maybe, it could even be like a double name, but they, I'm, I'm just getting, they're very, very proud of like where they come from and what their last name is. Maybe it even used to be some sort of royal name at one point in history, I'm not sure, but that's just what I'm getting. In regards to their first name, it could be anything that means something like powerful, ambitious, victory, warrior, successful, confident, okay? Any of these name meanings, so. Yeah, now enough said. Let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading. Let's find out where your soulmate is from physically. Now I have to say this, I keep on saying this with every pal, but I'm gonna mention it for you again. This is gonna be very specific, hence the 26 piles. So I do believe if you were drawn to G, to the letter G, there's some sort of truth in this and there's some reason why you were meant to hear this. And this could be where they are currently living, residing, studying, working, or it could also be where they're originally from, where their roots are, their ancestry, okay, anything. So let's take a look. Where is Palji's soulmate from? Mm-hmm. 
very, very interesting. So we've got large parts of Algeria, the entirety of Tunisia, large parts of Libya, little Italy and little Greece, okay? So your soulmate, okay, no, there's there's more countries that are kind of nameless. Well, I'm gonna have to cheat actually. I'm gonna have to open this up on my computer. So let's first of all, take a closer look at this map and the cities that are highlighted. When it comes to Algeria, there's a city that's highlighted, it's Algiers. Sorry, I'm terribly sorry, first of all, if I pronounce any of these wrong. It's likely gonna happen because we do have places from all over the world. In regards to Tunisia, we've got the city Tunis or Tunis that's highlighted. Then Tripoli in Libya, also highlighted. But I do think, you know, it's not just limited to these cities. Like they could be from anywhere here, but these could be like hot spots where a lot of your guys' soulmates are from, I guess. Then we've got Malta. They could be, f I don't see any Malta. Like where's the Malta? Um, <laughs> okay, it's very small. It's a very small island. And up here, they could also be from Sicily, Italy, like specifically that bottom part. They could be Sicilian, your soulmate, or maybe even Cala from like Calab what is it called? Calab Calabria? Calabaria? Hold on, let me look it up. Calabria. Okay, so Sicily or Calabria when it comes to Italy. Also, we got Sardinia right there. They could also be Sardinian. I believe this is Palma and this is Ibiza. Or no, I think this is actually the coast of Spain. So whatever city that is, probably... Uh, yeah, Valencia or Murcia. But you know, I don't think that's the main focus of the map. The main focus of the map is clearly around here somewhere. But I guess it could go as far as somewhere Spain. Good, then we have Palma and Ibiza, Ibiza. And yeah, then on the top right corner, we've got Greece. Keep in mind, Greece consists of many different islands. But the part that we've got highlighted here is like the south of the mainland. So we've got the city of Athens here, where they could also be from, okay, your person. Could be from Athens, they could be Greek. And this right here is the island of Crete. So they could also be from there, all right? Now it's a lot of different possibilities still from just one map. But I do believe if you were drawn to this pal, there's at least one of these places that's gonna resonate with your soulmate and where they're from, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. If this was helpful, if it resonated, if you had fun watching, please subscribe and like the video so that it gets recommended to more people. If you appreciate the effort that I put into this, I would really love for you to like it. Also, let's start a discussion down below. Let's let's talk. Let's see what kind of results you got from your pile. Let's compare it with other people. And yeah, you know, if you want a personal reading, by the way, the only way to get one from me is directly through the link in my description. That's going to take you to my Etsy shop. Please never ever trust any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me. I would never ask you to message any sort of phone number in order to get a reading. Also, please point it out to other people when you do see them being scammed or about to be scammed. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here with me and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Hey there, Group H. How are you? I'm really glad to have you here with me today in today's reading. And as you know, we're going to find out all about the whereabouts of your soulmate. We do have one very specific map that we're going to get to. But first of all, let's start off with some background information about who actually is this person that we're about to get the location of. So let's see the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by. It is Temperance. And it just reminds me of someone who pretty much has it all together. Like they are so calm and collected. They practice some sort of meditation or breath work. And it seems like they really are in control of their life. You know, when some people enter the room, they don't have to say much. But people automatically respect them. Like I'm thinking of Morgan Freeman or someone, you know, it could be anyone, but like that's the kind of vibe that your soulmate has. It's just they can walk into a room and they are automatically just respected. There is just some sort of calmness about them. Some I don't know why I keep hearing the word respect, but wow, this is a very, very 
uh, respected person. And it's something about the work that they do as well that is very helpful to a lot of people or very influential to the mass. So yeah, I would say they are more on the shy and reserved side when it comes to their personality. So they're definitely not cocky in any way. In fact, they know exactly who they are and they don't have to keep advertising that because I feel like to them, actions speak louder than words. And they actually live by this concept as well. So this is not someone that's gonna make a huge lot of promises. In fact, they might feel uncomfortable if you're trying to get them to promise certain things or like, you know, promise me this, promise me that, promise me that you're gonna be with me forever. I don't feel like they like, they're gonna like the idea of this because I feel like they're also someone who likes to live in the moment, who appreciates day by day, and who is aware of the fact, you know, some things might just not work out forever. So, they just want to enjoy the time with you for the time being. So yeah, temperance, I feel like it's a constant flow of things, the flow of life. You could be meeting this person rather late in life. This might take some time so that you truly can evolve into a person that you're meant to be until eventually that point of you guys meeting. I'm also getting the message this person lives a very, very healthy lifestyle. So they pay a lot of attention to their diet, what they consume, their nutrition. This likely also has some spiritual motivation or religious motivation, like their beliefs, their spirituality might con sort of uh, dictate a little what they eat and what they don't eat and what they consume. I also, I'm also getting, they might not drink alcohol or something like this, or this could be a personal value as well. Okay. Doesn't have to be spirituality or doesn't have to be a religion. So I'm thinking a, lo a lot of these people, you know, this is a general reading, but a lot of your soulmates, a lot of, for a lot of you people who are watching, this person could be vegetarian as well. Like they could refuse to eat meat or certain kinds of meats maybe. Yeah, also they work out, I believe, or they at least take care of themselves very, very well. This is a person that is very well groomed or very well taken care of. They smell really nice. Their appearance means a lot. They take a lot of care of their appearance. They trim their hair. It's very random, but that's what I just heard. Like they shave or they trim or something like this. They're very clean. If this is a male person or, a, you know, a person that can grow a beard, they probably don't. They probably don't have a beard. They're probably more clean shaven. When it comes to their zodiac sign, I believe it's most likely fire. They're probably a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but could also be water. I'm just seeing a lot of water here with the temperance card, especially. I guess it's going to be different for every one of you. Also, another random message is coming through. Your soulmate is the perfect mixture of their mom and dad. I guess that could be said about most people, but for your soulmate, it's taken to the extreme. Like they literally, they look like a perfect blend of their mom and their dad. That's what I just heard. And also maybe they could be like a, since you know, temperance is like sort of the alchemist. She's mixing things together. Could be also a perfect blend of masculine and feminine energy, the yin and the yang perfectly combined. This person is not toxically masculine or overly feminine. So like they they have both uh, masculine and feminine traits combined in their personality, maybe in their appearance as well. And they just fully own this is a very, very, very well put together person. They like everything in moderation too. I feel like a downside, like a down quality for, of them could be that they just, they have it hard with making decisions or like being sure with making decisions. I'm also getting like when it comes to their name, it could be a gender neutral name. And I'm also getting like the, their parents actually had planned a different name for them, but then they decided against it for whatever reason. Now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading, group H, and let's find out where your soulmate is from or where they are. Keep in mind, I say this before opening up these maps in every single pile. This could be pertaining to anything, okay? Where they were born, where they live now, where they're studying, where they're working, residing, living, or this could even be where their roots are, where their ancestry is from, okay? This could be anything. So I'm just the messenger, you're the interpreter. I need you to do your part of the equation as well. Remember, it's a general reading. So yeah, where is this person's soulmate from? Or where is this person's soulmate? 
Okay, very, very interesting. Tasmania, we've got the south of Australia and I believe most of or the entirety of New Zealand. Very, very interesting. So the cities that are highlighted here are Melbourne, Adelaide, Sydney, so New South Wales, Victoria, Act. Is that is that a state, Act? And um, Tasmania, the island of Tasmania. They could be Tasmanian, Australian. They could be Kiwi. They could be New Zealand, from New Zealand, New Zealandian. The cities that are highlighted here are Auckland and Hamilton, okay? But I do believe they could be from anywhere in these areas. Somewhere between the Great Australian Bight and the Tasman Sea is probably what they call home. So yeah, for your map, there's just a lot of water, so I can't say that much. I've had maps where I was completely filled with different lands and cities, different countries and places. For you, there's just not a lot going on on the map. So I guess it's going to be either Australia, somewhere on the south of Australia, Tasmania, or New Zealand, actually, okay? This is where your soulmate is. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a fun time, hope you had a good time. If you did enjoy this video, let me know down below. Let's start a discussion. Please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, I post fun predictions like this every now and then. Also like the video, please, so that it gets recommended to more people. If you do want a personal reading, the only way to get a personal reading from me is by clicking the link in my description. That's gonna take you directly to my Etsy store. Please never trust any scammers in the comments section pretending to be me asking you to message any sort of phone number on WhatsApp. I would never do that. And please also tell others when you do see something like this happening. Okay. Thank you guys for being here with me. Hope to see you again soon and goodbye. Mwah. Hi there, I group I. How are you? Hope you're doing great. Hope this reading finds you well. And I hope that you're as excited for this one as I am. I've done this reading a couple times now and I still get excited because I have no idea where this is taking us. So yeah, before we actually reveal the whereabouts of your soulmate, let's find out a little background info and let's see who actually is this person that appears to be your soulmate. So let's see the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by. It is the Hierophant, wow. Well, I like the word el papa, okay? <laughs> uh, I do think this is a very traditional person. They're probably religious or they really respect their traditions, the traditions of their country. If I'm being honest, this person is rather less fond of change. Oh my God, why is this dusty? Um, this person usually just likes to stick to what they're used to, to what they know, to what they're comfortable with. And I do think, however, they're very, very spiritual, very religious, probably more quiet. They don't talk that much. They're a little uh, shy, maybe even, okay? I do have a lot of info like regarding their name for some reason, like I'm getting. They have a really, really religious name, or actually it's a name that is very, very common. That's like widely used. So it could be something like John or Muhammad. They probably don't have that much of a unique name. It's something that is used by a lot of people. Depending on where they are, where they're actually from, what their culture is, they're going to have a name that is widely used in that culture. Also, I'm getting that they have a name that is very distinct or like exclusive to a specific culture. So where you would hear it and think, oh yeah, I can sort of like pinpoint where this person is from based on their name. That's what I'm getting. Keep in mind this whole thing about being traditional. That's just what the Hierophant is about. And I'm sure this is just one side of their personality. Like this is not their whole life, obviously. We've limited ourselves to one card and uh, one map. So that's why we can only get limited information. But obviously that's, I guess, uh, how you can recognize them. So yeah, uh, we're going to now get to the most anticipated part of the reading. 
where is your soulmate actually from? Keep in mind, this could be pertaining to anything. It could mean where they were born, where they live now, where they're studying, working, residing, or it could even mean where their ancestry is from, where their origins are, okay? So I'm just the messenger. You're the interpreter. I'm going to need you to do your part of the equation as well and see however this is going to resonate with your soulmate. Now, let's see. Where is group I's soulmate from? Good. Good. Okay, so it appears like we've got the countries that are surrounding the Caribbean Sea Ooh. and the Gulf of Mexico. So Latin America. And a little bit, I, I find this a little bit funny, like the tad, the tiny bit of Florida as well. Okay, um, good. So it appears to me that uh, they are probably from Middle America, your soulmate. So specifically the countries that are highlighted are Cuba and the city Havana is highlighted in especially. We've got the Bahamas, we've got the Cayman Islands, the Turks and Caicos Islands. We've got the Dominican Republic, so they could be Dominican. We've got Haiti, uh, Jamaica, so they could be Jamaican as well. We've got the Port Au Prince is highlighted. Also, again, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I'm probably going to be pronouncing a lot of them wrong. Forgive me for that. So then we've got Belize or Belize, Guatemala. We've got El Salvador. We've got Honduras, Nicaragua. The city of uh, Guatemala and Managua are highlighted. And we've got Costa Rica as well with San Jose. Panama City, so they could be Panamanian as well. Although it's a little bit cut off. So I don't know, probably the main focus is on actually these countries right here. Got a tiny bit of Mexico as well. And especially these provinces that right here. Merida and Cancun. Okay, so they could be Mexican. Gosh, there's a, for your pile, there's a lot of different countries on just one map. So there's a, loads of possibilities as to where this person could be from. So yeah, they likely have a, a high amount of respect. Like they really, really respect their traditions, like whatever country they're from. They're very traditional in that sense. Then we do have a little bit of uh, America. So they could be from the United States from Florida though, specifically. I don't think they could be from anywhere else because otherwise the map would indicate. And there's also tons of other pals with different maps. I really, really do think if they're from the US, they're probably from Miami or from somewhere from this tiny little uh, bottom part of Florida, all right? <laughs> so yeah, the Bahamas as well. They could be from an island too. And let's see what country is this with Barranquilla. So if you look at the uh, bottom right corner, we actually got a little bit of Colombia and a little bit of Venezuela. So they could also be from that country. But I, again, I do think the focus is on this part. Maybe, okay, it could be from here as well. So where is your soulmate from or in? Well, any of these countries and the highlighted cities might be like hot spots, okay, where a lot of your soulmates are. Since this is a general reading, remember a lot of people will be watching and this is as specific as I can get with you, Pile I. If you enjoyed this reading, if you had a lot of fun watching, please let me know down below. Let's start a discussion. Tell me what results you got or if it resonated I'd love to know and you'll see what kind of uh, experience other people had with this reading you know it is very experimental but I hope that uh, it, it's gonna work for you now if you want to show some support please subscribe to the channel if you appreciate the effort that I put into this please like the video so that it's gonna be recommended to more people and last but not least, if you want a personal reading, the only way to get a personal reading from me is through the link in my description, which is going to take you directly to my Etsy shop. Please never, never trust any scammers in the comments pretending to be me, asking you to message a certain number. Even if it looks like me, they only change their name and profile picture to appear as me. It is never me. It's always scammers, okay? 
So yeah, please also uh, notify other people when you see this happening. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again soon and goodbye. Hey there, Group J. Welcome to your reading. I hope you're as excited for this one as I am. And today we're going to figure out the whereabouts of your soulmate. Where are they? So if that's something you've been wondering, this is the reading for you. Keep in mind, we're going to actually get geographical. We're going to get really specific. I got this map for you. And before we open it, let's take a little look at some background information. Let's see who even is this person that is your so-called soulmate. So let's see what kind of tarot card they are represented by. We've got the devil. Okay. Well, one thing, okay, one thing I'm getting right away is that it is, in a way, scary to be with this person. Now, hear me out. <laughs> don't be like, okay, this is not the pal for me. This is not my energy. I don't want someone toxic. No, that's just not who I'm going to end up with. No, that's not what I mean at all. But it's like the energy between you and this person is so intense. I actually hear you saying... Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm really scared. I'm never going to find something like this ever again. I feel like this is a once in a lifetime thing. This is intense. And I hate how much I'm attracted to this person. Like they are literally the devil. They could do anything and I'd still be attracted to them. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting, okay? So they don't have to be inherently toxic. I mean, the devil is usually someone, yeah, that could be a little toxic. But I am also trying to interpret this in a in a very nonchalant, in a very open, in a very open-minded way. I'm just thinking the energies surrounding this connection are kind of very, very intense. This is likely someone that you would want to keep. Maybe you're also a little devil here. Maybe you're the type of person who would want to keep this person forever. Like they're, you're generally scared of losing them because of how good the connection appears to be. So one advice that I can give right away, if that's your energy, let go. Because what is truly meant for you will always end up finding you, will always remain with you. You're never going to have to force anything to be. It can indicate, it can point out some addictive or some codependent behaviors, which is why I just want to let you know right away. There is no need for that because if you are, truly are meant for someone, you're always going to end up with each other. Good. Now, about them a little bit more. They might look very dangerous like a lot of people might look at them and get really intimidated that's the kind of energy i'm getting they might be very very tall or even if they're not even if they're short they have something very intimidating about them like maybe even scary looking for some reason like the joker mm -hmm. okay uh when it comes to their zodiac sign i feel like they're most likely going to be an earth sign so taurus virgo capricorn I do think uh, maybe you have some sort of negative connotation actually to this person before you even get to know them. This is another reason why I see the devil card being here. Maybe you have some sort of negative connotation towards people from this culture. You might not want to admit it, but it is still there. Or you have some sort of negative connotation to people with that same name. Maybe you have dated someone with this exact name before. Let's just say, let's just call him John since it's a J. It could be any name. Oh no, I'm never going to date another John. That was a horrible experience. But then you meet, end up meeting another John. Then what are you going to do? huh? So it could be one of those situations. But then that second John is just so perfect. It's like, oh, I've already gone through this before. So yeah, those are the scenarios that I do see being very likely for you. And I do th I do see uh, one more uh, one more possibility here. It could be a name that actually has a negative meaning and there is actually more than you think. For example, the name Dolores, it means pain. So I don't know. Look up different names and what they mean. Your soulmate could have a name that actually has a negative meaning attached to it, a negative connotation, okay? So yeah, now enough talk. Let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading and let's find out where is your soulmate. 
and where can they be located on a physical geographical map. So keep in mind, I say this before opening up every single one of the maps. This could be, since this is a general reading, pertaining to anything. This could be where they were born, where they're now living, residing, studying, working, or it could even be their origins, their ancestry, where they originate from, okay? So I am just the messenger, you're the interpreter. I'm gonna need you to do your part of the equation as well and see however this is gonna fit with your soulmate. All right. Now where is Group J's soulmate from? Wow, okay. So we've got, I believe, a perfect divide between Pakistan and India. So they're probably from one of those two countries. And there's a bunch of cities that are highlighted. Keep in mind, I'm not very familiar with uh, this place of Earth at all. So I'm probably going to pronounce every single one of these wrong. So I'm terribly sorry if I do, uh, but I'm going to try my best. So some of the cities that are highlighted in Pakistan are Karachi. Uh, Hyderabad, Hyderabad and Bawalpur so they could be you know they could be from any of these places but I believe those could be hot spots perhaps where most people live that are from these places or where a lot of your guys' soulmates are actually gonna be from now let me open this place up on my Google Maps and let's cheat a little because I am overwhelmed this part right here, I believe, is actually the Iran. I don't think it's too relevant, though, to be honest, because otherwise we will get more of it. It's literally just the just the corner. And then there's another city here, but it's kind of blocked. Quetta. I think this is Quetta. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe they are Pakistani living in India or maybe India living in Pakistani and that's why we got both of these maps or something like this. Maybe they live at the border. I don't know what it is for you guys in your case. But um, then let's take a look at India. There's a bunch of city that are highlighted, cities that are highlighted here and a bunch of regions. So they could be Punjabi. We've got the Punjabi region right here. They could also be from Ut Uttarakhand. Again, sorry if that was wrong. We've got Haryana, Haryana and Rajasthan. They could be from, uh, from Gujarat, okay? And uh, Madhya Pradesh. Some cities that are highlighted here are Baikonur, New Delhi. Oh, okay, actually the capital of India. Very nice. They could be from the capital of India, from New Delhi, from Jaipur, from Ajmer, from Jodhpur, from Udaipur, Kota, Gwali. Uh, I'm sure there's more, but I can't read it. Indore, Ahmedabad, Rajkot, Jamnagar, Bhuj. I hope this is helpful for you guys, but this is likely where your soulmate is from or originates or maybe currently resides. All right, if you enjoyed the reading, please let me know down below. Let's start a discussion in the comments and let's see what kind of results you got. Tell me about it. Tell other people about it and let's see what they got, you know. Uh, if you did uh, appreciate the effort that I put into this video, please let me know by subscribing to the channel. I always post fun predictions like this one and like the video so that it gets recommended to more people. I'd love if as many people as possible were able to watch this video. Now, if you want a personal reading, the only way to get it is directly through the link in my description. It's gonna take you to my Etsy shop. Please do not believe any scammers in the comments that are about to be pretending to be me. I would never ask you to message any kind of number on WhatsApp to get a reading. Make sure to inform other people in case they're about to fall for a scam like that, okay? So yeah, thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I had a lot of fun reading for you and I hope I can see you again soon, okay? Goodbye. Hey there, Group K. Welcome to your reading and I hope the video finds you well. I hope you're as excited as I am. Today, we're gonna get to know the exact whereabouts of your soulmate. Woo, I still get excited every single time because I have no idea where this map is about to take us. 
Well, before we get started with that, let's first of all get to know some background information about this person that is seemingly your soulmate. Like, who are they? Let's see the tarot card that they are represented by. It is the High Priestess. Wow, beautiful card. I believe your soulmate is someone who is very, very much in touch with themselves. They fully are aware of who they are. They know themselves. I think they are rather mature. So no matter how old they are, they could be a little bit older, but no matter their age, they are very, very mature. I feel like there's someone who likes law and order in their life, who likes structure, who will purposely abstain from any kind of drama, conflict, because they have learned they are much greater than that. I feel like this is a very nonchalant and non-judgmental person, so it's extremely easy to talk to them. They like communicating with all different kinds of people and actually like hearing opinions that are contrary or different from their own because that expands their consciousness. So yeah, they are drawn to people that are very different from themselves, so maybe this is someone that is also very different from you or who also has different beliefs. Generally speaking, this is a very independent and self-sufficient person. They do not need anyone else to fulfill them. However, if this is the kind of energy that you have as well, then you might be a great match because this is like, yeah, you don't need anyone to fulfill you, but if someone did come along eventually, that would be a nice addition to your life. And this is exactly the same way that they are thinking. They don't like the idea of ever attaching themselves to someone or like belonging to someone because they just go with the flow of life. They believe that whatever is meant to happen will happen and they would even remain single if that was the case, if that was, you know, meant for uh, meant for them. So I'm not sure if this person believes in soulmate, but I do believe they're going to see something very special in the connection that you guys end up having. I do feel this is a very in tune person. Like they are, they could even be psychic or at least highly intuitive. At the same time I'm getting, they don't even have to be spiritual or be aware of spirituality or religion. I do feel like those are principles they respect, but I guess whether they believe in them or not, that is going to come uh, down to the individual case. So yeah, since this is a general reading, not every person's going to be the same. I do have some more information regarding them. They are very classy and elegant. I do feel like the way that they dress is more classy, like they like to wear suits or dresses, like they really like to appear very professional. For some of you guys, your soulmate likes to dress up in a very sexy way. I'm getting also red lipstick or, uh, yeah, this is someone who really, really takes care of themselves. Like that's really important to them. And if this is a man, he likes to play with his manly manliness. So let maybe a little bit of uh, Don Juan, However, not in a toxic way at all. This is just someone who's very much aware of his male attractiveness, I guess. If this is a woman, she's also very much aware of her female charm and she know really knows how to seduce someone. However, again, not in a toxic way. It's all easy going with this person. Again, they are really not attached in the end and they just wanna find someone to spend the rest of their life with in a very easygoing way. They don't like pressure. That's the thing with your person. So they could have a, mis when it comes to their name, they have a very mysterious name or an alluring name that makes you think, oh, okay, I'd like to get to know more. Or even just when you see them in a room full of people, you think to yourself, wow, this is someone I'd like to get to know more. Uh, they look very, very exciting. They look very enticing. They just also, they look approachable. Like you just wanna talk to this person when you see them, find out more about them. They are very wise and they could potentially be very spiritually enlightened, but again, that is gonna come down to the individual case. So they could also have a name that means something like enlightened or intuitive or a name that means, you know, this person knows a lot, they're very knowledge, knowledgeable, is that a word? They have a lot of wisdom, so any names regarding that kind of meaning, name meaning. When it comes to the astrology, I do believe this person is most likely a water sign, okay? So Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. 
If not, they just likely embody a lot of water qualities or they have a lot of water in their chart, all right? Now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading and let's find out where they are from. Again, I need to make something clear. I mentioned this in every pile, in every group. We do have 26 piles, which allows me to get really, really specific with the location. So this location could also be pertaining to anything, whether this is where they currently live, where they were born, where they're residing, working, studying, or this could also be where their roots are, their ancestry is from. So yeah, I'm just the messenger. You need to be the interpreter. You need to fulfill your part of the equation when it comes to interpreting how this information is relevant in regards to your soulmate, all right? So let's open this one up and let's find out. This one is rather tight. And let's find out where is group K's soulmate from physically. Also, I found what helps me is to open up Google Maps simultaneously because some of these locations really are giving me a hard time. Okay, let's find out where is this person from, this person's soulmate. Okay, so it looks like they could be Mexican or maybe American. We've got, I feel like this is Middle America or a little bit of North America too. So let's go over it real quickly. The most prominent country is Mexico that we've got here. We've got some cities that are highlighted. We've got Mexico City. We've got Monterrey, uh, Guadalajara. I'm First of all, terribly sorry if I end up pronouncing any of these wrong. Okay, so this is the Baja California Sur. Uh, so they could be from here as well. Nonetheless, I do believe they are likely Mexican or maybe have some Mexican ancestry because this is really, this one's really prominent here. It's the most prominent part of the map. But we also got some parts of Texas. So they could be from Texas or in Texas as well. The cities that are highlighted are San Antonio, Austin, and Houston. These are likely hot spots where a lot of your soulmates uh, are gonna be from. Yeah, they could uh, also be from Louisiana. We've got the state of Louisiana that is highlighted here. Mississippi, Alabama, and could go as far as this tiny little part of Florida. And then we've got Georgia right here. but. You know, that's not really the main focus of the map, so I think it is rather unlikely they're from somewhere there, but it is possible, okay? The main focus seems to be here on Mexico, Texas, and Louisiana. Then let's take a look at down here. We've got some more Middle American countries. We've got Belize, uh, Guatemala. Also, the cities of Merida and Cancun are also highlighted here. Again, all these provinces, I do believe it is the majority of Mexico. So if there is a Mexican pile, this is it, okay? <laughs> so there's just a large possibility of your soulmate being from any of these places. So yeah, uh, we've got Guatemala as well and Belize or Belize. And this would be Honduras. Again, that is the absolute cutoff. I don't think it's gonna go much more south than that. I feel like Honduras and Guatemala, that's the absolute limit. Cause again, there's many, many more maps that could indicate that, but your map seems to be all about like Mexico and Texas, or maybe some of the, some of this, some of the coast of the United States as well. Maybe they could be from Louisiana as well. What's this, what's the city right here? I believe that would be Waco? Is it Waco or Dallas? I think it's Dallas. So Dallas would also again be the northern limit, the northern border of this map. So I hope that this information is helpful to you. This is where your soulmate is from or in, okay? Now I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it and if you appreciate the, all the work that went into this video, please let me know by subscribing to the channel. I keep on posting fun predictions like this and like the video so that it gets recommended to more people. I would really love if as many people as possible were able to see this one. All right, thank you guys. Also, let's start a discussion down below. Let me know what kind of pal, what kind of results you got. Let's see what other people got, okay? And if you want a personal reading, I do offer them, and the only way to get them is through the link in my description that's gonna take you directly to my Etsy shop. Please never ever trust any scammers in the comments pretending to be me asking you to message a certain number 
number on WhatsApp. I would never ever do that. So please also point it out to other people when you see someone maybe falling for that. Okay. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed having you here with me and hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Hey there, Group L, and welcome to your reading. I'm so excited to be the person to give you this reading today. I hope you're as excited as I am, because today we're going to find out the exact whereabouts of your soulmate. But before we get started with getting to know where this person is from, getting a look at the map, we're going to actually reveal some background information about this person. Like, who actually is this? How can you recognize them? Okay, so the tarot card that your person, that your soulmate is represented by is the star or the stars. It's really, really, really beautiful. And this, to me, if this was like the first pal that you were drawn to, this is a definite confirmation. To me, this seems like a wish come true. This is like everything you have ever wanted. And I won't even lie, the circumstances under which you meet this person, they just seem like divine intervention. There's no other way to explain it. Like if you think about the story that you're meeting this person, or maybe you haven't met them yet, so let me tell you what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be just like in a movie. And I'm not over exaggerating. There's 26 piles, but for this pile, this is like a love story or even if it's not a love story that unfolds just like in a movie or a book and you're gonna be thinking damn who was the one to write this script like you just cannot make this up that's the kind of energy that i'm getting from this pile and let me tell you a little bit more about this person it's a very calm person who just got this this calm confidence like they don't need to brag or convince anyone about who they are people they just get it they see this person your soulmate and they just get okay yeah this is who they are they have boundaries they have this inner confidence and i i rather not cross that line like they just make their values known by simply existing by vibrating on that specific frequency this person exudes so much charisma so much confidence and this is the calm kind of confidence that this person has i do think they might look rather young or like rather sweet there's just something about them never aging or something about their physical appearance that just looks rather innocent you know like you would look at this person and think oh they look really cute and then when they start talking when they start opening their mouth you're like wow there's actually a lot behind as well like wow i didn't expect to be hit with all this wisdom to be hit with all this knowledge so this is someone who's definitely got the looks they've got the personality they seem to got it all when it comes to their zodiac sign i do think they're most likely an air sign so watch out for any Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do think that's the most likely sign that they're going to have. Again, even if not, even if they're not an air sign, they have a lot of air-like qualities about them or a lot of air in their chart, possibly. I do think they do something that requires them to speak their mind a lot. So they could have some sort of podcast or they are in some sort of job or career where they have to talk to a lot of people or like in front of large audiences. That's what I'm getting. So they could also be a motivational speaker or this person really has no problem expressing their opinion and letting others know how to do it or how they do it and being an inspiration to a lot of people. This is a very, very inspiring person for some of you guys. Okay, now remember, this is a general reading, so take whatever resonates. But obviously the star for some of you guys, this could be a celebrity that is your soulmate, or they could be very, very well known. They could have a large following. They could have a, they could have a community of people who support them. They could have some sort of a following that they've built up. Okay, on social media, they have a rather contemporary name. So either it is very, very new. It's simply a very contemporary name that fits into a certain period of time. So I guess it could be traditional as well. It's really going to depend on the individual case here. Nonetheless, uh, since this person is an optimist, they just have so much of this positive energy. They don't like dealing with a lot of negativity. I feel like if they encounter a negative person, they're even the person who can lift them up. But I feel like if, if you know, if they remain with negativity too long, if it does seem like someone they can't change, 
you know they're just going to withdraw they don't entertain it they don't entertain negative vibes bad vibes they're not about this also this had me thinking if they aren't a celebrity themselves maybe they are a look-alike to a certain celebrity that you really like or that you know or maybe they have the same name as a celebrity so it's gonna be really funny if you meet them and, and you're like hey they look just like a celebrity or when they introduce themselves to you and you're like hey isn't that the name of some celebrity and they're like yep I got the same name or they've got something to do with uh, with a celebrity here uh, a connotation to a celebrity all right that's all the info I have for you now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading which is where they're from keep in mind I say this before every single pile I'm going to give you a very specific location and the reason I got 26 piles is so that I can get as specific as possible with each one of the individual piles. So if it doesn't end up resonating, maybe it's just not meant for you. But I do believe if you were so drawn to this pile, there is some core, some truth to this location when it comes to where your soulmate is from. Keep in mind, this could be where they were born, where they're now living, residing, studying, working. Or this could be where their origins are from, their ancestry, okay? It could be any of those things. I am just the messenger. You're the interpreter. I'm going to need you to use this information and interpret it in whatever way it fits. Okay, let's see what location. Where is this person's soulmate? Group L, where is this person's soulmate in or from? Wow, okay, this is an American. <laughs> okay, we've got a large part of the United States and this tiny tad bit of Canada as well. So your soulmate appears to be either from or in America, okay? Maybe this is also where you're gonna meet, in America, or uh, from America. So in or from America or even Canada. You know, if they're from Canada, they're probably from this tiny part right here. I wouldn't go much uh, more up north because there's a border of the map. And there are 25 other piles as well. So if they were from anywhere else in Canada, it would show us on the map. So if they are Can uh, Canadian, they're probably from Ontario or from the border uh, where the Niagara Falls are. Niagara? How do you say it? I'm going to read you all the states. I mean, we have nothing else to do anyway. They could be from... Dakota here. I think that's South Dakota, right? Um, or simply Dakota. Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois. There's some cities that are highlighted, which I find quite interesting. I guess those are hot spots. Since a lot of people are going to be watching this reading, this is where they're going to most likely be from. We've got the city of Chicago, the city of, city of in Indiana, Indianapolis in Indiana, then the city of Columbus, Ohio, that is highlighted as well. And we've got Kansas, Missouri, Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia. So they could be from DC, Washington, DC. That's what this is. Then we've got North Carolina, uh, South Carolina. We've got Charlotte, the city of Charlotte. Atlanta, Georgia is also highlighted. Then we've got the states of Alabama and Mississippi, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas as well. So this goes as far as Texas. And the city of Austin and Dallas are highlighted here. So they could be from Dallas or Austin if they are from, from or in Texas. Remember, this could also be where you guys are going to meet, perhaps. So yeah, any of these uh, definitions are valid. It's going to come down to how you want to interpret it, okay? Please use your own intuition and guidance and maybe tells you where to look. We do have a little bit of Pennsylvania here, a little bit of Ma what's that Mar uh, Maryland, okay? But that's the definite cutoff. I wouldn't go much more east than that. This is where your soulmate is from or in. This is where your soulmate is at, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this resonated for you. I hope that you had a lot of fun watching the video. And if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, please let me know by subscribing to the channel. I always post fun predictions like this. Also, like the video so that it gets recommended to more people. I would absolutely love if as many people as possible were able to see this reading. Also, let's start a discussion down below. Let me know what pal you chose, what results you got, what resonated for you. Also, if you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is through the link in my description that's going to take you directly to my Etsy shop. Please never ever try any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me asking you to message some sort of number they're all fake 
please also point them out when you see them. Okay, now thank you guys for watching. Really enjoyed having you here with me today. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Goodbye. Hey there, Group M. Welcome to your reading. If this was the letter you chose, let's find out. Today we're going to see what are your soulmates' whereabouts. Ooh, pretty excited. I have no idea where this map is going to take us, but we're going to see. We're going to find out soon. But first of all, let's find out some basic information, some background information about who this person is that supposedly is your soulmate. Let's find out the tarot card they are represented by. It is the Hermit. Wow. Usually I like to say that this is probably an Earth sign, first of all. So they're likely a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Just that's what they're most likely going to be. Doesn't have to be limited to those three signs. If there's something else, they likely just embody a lot of Earth-like qualities or they have a lot of Earth in their chart overall. Now I am going to say this is a rather introverted person. They are calm and I feel like they dedicate their life to a certain cause, to studying or to like finding out more about who we are and where we come from, uh, humanity in general. This is a person that doesn't put much importance on themselves as an individual, but who is very much interested in the in the big picture. This is the type of person that believes that as a collective, we can make a difference. I'm also going to say this, this is someone who is going to come into your life and act as a spiritual teacher for you. They are going to be the person to either start your spiritual journey or to bring it to the next level. But I do feel like upon meeting them, upon meeting this person, your spiritual quest is either ignited or like is being further developed, if that makes sense. So they are a highly a very spiritual or religious person themselves. And I feel like they have a lot to teach you. So you're going to be learning a lot from them. When it comes to their age, they're probably a little older than you. Or um, in general, they could be a very old soul. So this doesn't have to be age, but their soul has definitely lived many lives, has gone through a lot of things. Can This person can even remember and recall their past lives. They have past life karma that they have been dealing with in this current life. Also, I'm getting the message that this person might look a lot older than their age. So you're going to think, oh, maybe it's the beard or something, but they just, for some reason, look a lot older uh, than their age. And obviously, they don't have to have a beard. It's just an example. This person doesn't like like a lot of attention if they had the choice they would just abstain from the public or like from the limelight although they have very very big ideas I don't feel like they directly want to be the person to like bring this change or like be the face of this change they could be some sort of ghost writer for someone or like they have so much ideas so much knowledge but they're not directly the person to like embody these ideas like think of singers, they have songwriters and producers. So yeah, they could be anything that contributes to the growth of someone else and success of someone else, if that makes sense. Because they themselves, they don't really like being in the spotlight all that much. But nonetheless, they're a very, very wise person. So many ideas, probably a little perfectionist, like they always like to get things done their way. Sometimes I do believe the downside could be that they're not as open for change because they just usually like to stick with what they know. Uh, also, another piece of information is coming through. They have a very ancient uh, traditional name, okay? Or this is a name that was passed on to them that has a lot of meaning attached to them. They are very proud of their name. They used to maybe get ostracized because of their name because it was rather unusual, but now they're very proud of their name. And it's it's like, it just embodies the culture. This is the kind of information that I'm getting. And it's gonna be very rare, very difficult to pronounce or write for some people, unless they're very proud of their name. All right, now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading and see where your soulmate is from. Keep in mind, this is a general reading and the location that we're about to get could be pertaining to anything, where they were born, where they're now living, studying, working, residing, but it could also be where they're originally from, where their roots are, their ancestry is from, all right? So yeah, I'm just the messenger, 
you are the interpreter. I'm going to need you to do your part of the equation and see how this information is going to resonate with your soulmate. All right. So your soulmate appears to be from... Uh -huh. I've got the Arabian Sea here, and anything surrounding the Arabian Sea is likely where your soulmate is going to be from. Okay, let's go over these countries a little bit. All right, when it comes to the Middle East, we've got the countries of Yemen and Oman here, and I believe this is uh, Saudi Arabia. But again, I feel like if they were meant to be from there, you know, we would have gotten a little more of Saudi Arabia, but it is still possible. But there's, you know, 25 other maps that could indicate it as well. I do believe the main focus is here on Africa, North and South Africa. Uh, we've got the countries of Eritrea, uh, Djibouti, Eth Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya, Sudan, Uganda, South Sudan as well. Also, I'm terribly sorry in case I pronounce any of these countries or cities wrong. It's probably going to happen. Please forgive me. So the cities Nairobi and Dar es Salaam are highlighted. This one is in Tanzania, where they could also be from. We've got the country of Mozambique, and that is the definite cut off. So I don't think uh, they are likely to be from much more south than that because again there's 25 other maps that could indicate that. They're probably somewhere from this main region of Africa right here. So yeah let me see what is this one. This is a Rwanda. Uh, Rwanda Burundi. Okay. Um, nice nice. Okay so from the eastern coast of Africa or any of these countries. We've got the Gulf of Aden right here. And this is Madagascar, which I believe they could be from Madagascar as well, your soulmate. Now, let's take a look at India and Sri Lanka. There's a bunch of cities that are highlighted. I do believe this includes the entirety of Sri Lanka, so they could be Sri Lankan, your soulmate. Or they could be from, uh, what is this area called? Is it... Uh, Tamil, Kerala. So we've got the cities of Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad, and this is. Let me see, I need to cheat a little bit because my knowledge of geography. Oof, yeah, it's limited. Again, I don't know why these cities are highlighted. They might be hot spots where a lot of people live, or this could be since a lot of people are watching, or your soulmate is most likely gonna be from one of these cities, all right? I think this is Mumbai. Uh, yeah, I think this is Mumbai. So they could be from Mumbai as well, or near that place. So anywhere else, but that's the definite cutoff, okay? Again, I don't think they're from much more up north than Mumbai because there would be 25 other maps who could indicate that. And this is what the map seems to be focusing on, these territories, all right? So we've got Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai, Bengaluru, Sri Lanka, and again, all of these North and South African countries, a little bit of the Middle East, and we've got the island of Madagascar, okay? So anything surrounding the Arabian Sea is where your soulmate is gonna be from or in. Good. This tiny little small island here, I'm interested what that name is. Let me see, it is the island of Socotra. Socotra, okay, interesting. Maybe they're from there, who knows? Any of these places are pretty much possible. And yeah, I hope that this was helpful for you. <laughs> That's the main thing. And if you did enjoy the reading, let me know. Let's start a discussion down below. Let's share your results and compare what other people got. Let's see, I think it'll be pretty cool to see. And like the video so that more people are gonna be recommended to this video. I, so if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, I'd be so grateful. Please subscribe to the channel. I always post fun videos like this. And if you want a personal reading, the only way to get a personal reading from me is by clicking on the link in the description. That's going to lead you directly to my Etsy shop. Please never trust any scammers in the comments pretending to be me asking you to message a certain number on WhatsApp to get a reading. They're all fake, so also please point them out when you see them. Thank you guys, you're all beautiful souls, and I hope to see you again soon in another video. Goodbye.
Hey there, group, and welcome to your reading. I'm so glad to have you here today. I hope you're as excited for this one as I am, because today, as you know, we're going to find out the exact whereabouts of your soulmate. Where are they from or in? We're going to get to that in a second. But before we get to this map and see where they're from, let's find out some basic information, some background, inside information about your soulmate. So the tarot card that they are represented by is the Ace of Pentacles. So here's what I did. I included, since it's 26 pals, the 22 major arcana and one for each suit. So your soulmate is represented by the Ace of Pentacles or pretty much the suit of pentacles. So what that lets me know is that you're gonna be somehow work related to your soulmate. You're either gonna have the same job or you're gonna be working together in your career. This is the message that I'm getting. First of all, there's another possibility that I'm seeing. Oh gosh, so much information hitting me right away. So let's slow this down a little bit. Your soulmate is very likely to be some sort of entrepreneur or they have their own business. They make their own money. They are very, very responsible. And they are very, very independent. It is pretty much all up to them how much money they make, when they work. They have a lot of freedom when it comes to this. Remember, it's a general reading, so there's a bunch of different uh, scenarios and possibilities but this is one of them and I do think if this is something along the lines of what you're doing as well you will be able to harmoniously work together and create something together I'm getting that there's gonna be some sort of shared income and a shared job opportunity like you're gonna be working together on something very very beautiful this is destined to happen that you are gonna be pretty much a force to be reckoned with. You're gonna be working together with your soulmate on your dream business. So yeah, you could be both owning a business or like sharing a business together and operating, both doing something different and like fulfilling their parts of the equation. Both of you guys are working on whatever needs to be worked on and what you're both best at. Like I feel like you guys have different qualities of what you're good at, but putting that together creates the perfect team that is going to be able to work together and have their own business or at least work uh, yeah, work together in whatever job it is that you might have. The reason I'm thinking they're likely to be an entrepreneur or some sort of business person is because they just seem to have a lot of work-related stuff on their mind like a lot of this is a very business-minded person which makes me think they take their job their work beyond their working hours it seems like they're always working because whatever their job is is what they love to do they have found their purpose in life and they are working in regards to this purpose of what they are what they know they are meant for i feel like their job goes way beyond a source of income this is truly their passion and they have made this their job so you're going to be having a lot of job related discussion simply because it is their passion and likely it is your passion as well so it could be something similar to what you're doing right now this is a very exciting, excited, and dynamic person. They've got a big personality, a lot of things for you to get to know. It's like it never gets boring with this person. This person also knows their worth and they do not want anyone who cannot fulfill this, this criteria and respect these boundaries. And this is a great sign because I believe you're someone who has set their boundaries as well. This is someone who definitely knows what they want. And if you know what you want as well, I do feel like this is going to be a great match because you're going to respect each other's boundaries. I'm hearing the word boundaries for your pile and these are going to be respected. I'm getting another uh, piece of information that's coming through. They have a rather common name, at least to the culture where they're from. It's rather common, like a lot of people have this name. So it's like nothing spectacular. OK, nothing uh, you've never heard before. So, yeah. Uh, now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading. I personally am really excited to see where this map is going to take us. I've done this reading about 12 times now or 13 times now and it's still a surprise every time. Now keep in mind I say this before every one of the uh, every one of the maps this could be pertaining to anything, okay? This could be pertaining to where they were born, where they're now living, residing, studying, working, or this could be where you can trace their ancestry, where their origins are from, anything, okay? I'm just the messenger, you're the interpreter, so please adjust this information to however you may see fit and 
yeah, figure out how it's relevant in regards to your soulmate. So where is group N's soulmate from? Wow, okay. They are European. That's the information I have for you. So, okay, let's go over all these countries. Uh, these borders is likely the cutoff to the extent like, okay, this is as far as we're going to go. They're probably not from any much more uh, south than this border because, again, there's 25 other maps that could indicate. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that every single country on this earth is covered at least once in one of these maps. So yeah, um, we've got the country of Iceland, first of all, and that seems to be the northwestern border. So they could be from Iceland. Then we've got Ireland as well and the United Kingdom. The only city that's highlighted is uh, London. Then we've got Denmark, Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany. Another city that's highlighted is Berlin. I believe uh, those could be hotspots where a lot of people live, or maybe that's where your soulmate might be from. Maybe that's an indicator. Hey, inspect this city more closely. So we've also got Poland and uh, Warsaw. Warsaw? Um, Norway, Sweden, Finland, although Finland is going to be another border here. This is where the cutoff is, is at Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. They could be from any of these countries, okay? Let me just take a look. Let me cheat a little bit. Let me look it up on my screen. This is Belarus, Belarus, and a little bit of the Ukraine, I believe, as well. Okay, so maybe the western part of the Ukraine, they could be from here. And this country is the Czech Republic. So yeah, they could be from any of these European countries. Your soulmate, let me tell you, is likely European. If this is not where they live, maybe this is their ancestry, okay? To be more specific, it's mainly Western Europe and a little bit of Northern Europe as well. But it's probably gonna be either like Western or Northern Europe, if I'm honest but it could be any of these countries that are represented on this map, all right? You were drawn to it for a reason, so you must have a soulmate that lives somewhere here or is from somewhere here, okay? Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope it made sense to you. I hope it resonated. I hope you had a lot of fun watching, and if you did appreciate the effort that went into this, please let me know by subscribing to my channel. I always post fun videos like this, and like the videos so that it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love if as many people as possible were able to see this video. Also, let's start a discussion down below in the comments. Let's see, let's write what resonated for you, and let's see what other people got as well. By the way, if you want a personal reading, the only way to get that one is directly through the link in my description, which is going to take you to my Etsy shop. Never ever trust any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me, especially when they ask you to message some sort of number. It's all fake. It's all scammers. Okay, so please also point it out when you see it. That being said, that was a lot of talking. Thank you guys for being here. I really, really appreciate you all more than you know, and goodbye. Hope to see you soon. Hey there, group. Oh, welcome to your reading. I hope you're as excited as I am. And as you know, today we're going to figure out the exact physical whereabouts of your soulmate. Well, before we get started with that, let's find out some general background info about this person. Who even is your soulmate? So let's see. The tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is death. Wow very transformative energy. This just sort of tells me that your person is going through constant change in their life, especially when we're talking about location. This is someone I feel like who is first of all well-traveled, like they know all different countries, all different cultures, because they've pretty much lived everywhere <laughs> or in a lot of different places. I just feel like especially since they were young, they have been moving from place to place and they never, I feel like they don't really have a specific place that they call their home. And that's what makes it so difficult. They've gone through a whole identity crisis because of this. Like, who am I? Where am I even from? Like, where do I belong? And what do I call home? Like, this person has a 
I feel like sort of a non-attached attitude towards places because they've just been to so many different places. They've lived in so many different countries. There's something about their parents, you know, constantly changing their job. And since they were a kid, your person was a kid, they've constantly had to adapt and like go to different schools, move to different places. That's what I'm getting. So it'll be very, very interesting to find out where this map is gonna point us to because of what I just told you. Also with death, I'm thinking in general, this is a very non-attached uh, energy that I'm getting from this person. Like if, if they don't feel like something's working out, they might as well just drop it. They're not the type of person to chase at all. In fact, they embrace the new beginnings. They embrace change. They are very open to change. They are the embodiment of change. They are likely someone who constantly changes up the way that they look, the way that they appear, the way that they dress. Uh, this person probably experiments with clothes, with haircuts, with the, maybe even makeup. Like they just love trying out new different things. And it's like, I'm getting the message uh, season. Like this person is a new person every season. You know, they like to completely change up their look. And maybe when it comes to their personality as well, they're constantly growing. They embrace this change. They embrace the fact that they're constantly gaining knowledge, that they're constantly becoming smarter, that they're constantly evolving and becoming the best version of themselves. Like this could honestly be some sort of self-improvement geek. I don't know if that's the right word, but this person is constantly looking to improve, constantly get better. And if not that, it's simply about the change. It doesn't have to be about getting better. Also, when it comes to death, I won't even lie. Uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not everything has to resonate 100%. In fact, I'm going to give you a bunch of different options that I could see happening. But if we are talking about death, obviously, maybe it is uh, just meant to be that you are meant to witness the death of this person. Now hear me out, this doesn't have to be physical death. For some of you guys, it could be. It could be that you are meant to tragically witness this, but keep in mind also, everyone's gonna die at some point, and this could as well just mean that you guys are gonna be together until you die, until one of you dies. Death is inevitable, so it's gonna happen at one point or the other. So you could also see this as a positive sign, like these people, these two people that are about to meet are actually gonna to be together until death parts them, you know? So it could be either this or that. It could also mean that you are meant to witness the death of this person uh, in form of, you know, the connection is over. Like you are meant to witness the end of this connection. Maybe this is someone you are not meant to be with forever. That's the other side of the spectrum. And you are meant to learn how to embrace the fact that they are no longer here. Taken into consideration the kind of person they are, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you might actually not meant to be with this person forever. And this person might have come into your life for a reason, in order to teach you something. This person is constantly evolving, constantly learning, and I feel like the fact that you crossed paths might have been for you to be stirred into the right direction or to really learn something profound, learn big lessons with this person, learn important lessons. Again, you could be together with this person forever. I don't know what it is. Maybe you're not. Maybe this person was a learning lesson for you. Maybe this person helped you evolve, but maybe this is a divine union. Well, we'll see, okay? <laughs> now, uh, I do wanna say when it comes to astrology, they're most likely gonna be a water sign, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I'm also gonna say, um, there's some more info coming through about your person. Maybe they go by some sort of stage name or they have a different name than what they were uh, born with, born as, like they have gone through some sort of name change or they like to go by a different name than what they were given okay also i'm getting maybe this person has some sort of name that means completion or whole or something like that or transformation any of these sort of name meanings all right uh hey there uh pal o welcome back here's what happened i made a little bit of a mistake with your pile and i don't know how it was possible i can't explain it but here's the thing so I opened up your map, your initial map. This is a different map. And it ended up being a map that I already had in a previous pile. So I was super confused. I was like, how could this have happened? So 
Apparently, it seems like my printer printed one of the maps twice and I had it a second time in your reading and there was one map that was completely left over that was in none of the piles. So I concluded that must have been your map. So here is your actual real updated map of where your soulmate is from. Again, I don't know why you got a duplicate, but it just doesn't make sense. I didn't want to leave it like that. I didn't want to give you a duplicate because if you were meant for that map, you would have chosen the previous pile, right? So yeah, uh, this is an updated map. This is the one that was left out that I didn't find in any of the other pals. I actually went and looked through again. I'm now giving you this real updated map because this is certainly not a duplicate. This is the map that for some reason missed out on all the piles. I don't know why that was for some reason, but I printed it out again for you. I do have it here now. This is the actual map, okay? So let's have a look. Let's find out where your soulmate is actually from. Now I already know what it is. This time it's not a surprise for me, but let's see. Oof, let's open it up. Also keep in mind, it's a general reading. And the reason I did have 26 piles was so that I could get as specific as possible with each one of the individual piles. It's still general though. So this could be anything. This could be where they were born, where they're now living, working, studying, residing, what they call their home. But this could also be where their origins are, their ancestry, okay? This could be pertaining to anything. I'm just the messenger. I need you to be the interpreter. So. Let's take a look. For some reason, this map really said, no, I don't want to be in any of the piles. But no, 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 no. It's not going to escape us just like that. See, it doesn't even want to open up. I don't know why there's so much resistance to this map. This one really is a fighter, I'm telling you. Okay, we got it. It's got a few holes now, but that's okay. So this is your genuine map of where your soulmate is from. And it appears to be the Middle East and Central Asia. I think that's what to call this area. A little bit of South Asia as well, I'm thinking. Okay, so there's a lot of different countries, actually. A lot of different places on this map. And your soulmate is likely from one of these. Let's go through them. We've got a bunch of countries and some highlighted cities. I believe those could be hot spots where a lot of people live, or maybe these are, since a lot of people are watching, where most of your soulmates would likely be from. So let's start off with Uzbekistan. We've got the country of Uzbekistan right here. Then we've got Turkmenistan. We've got the city of Ashgabat. By the way, I'm terribly sorry in, ca in case I pronounce any of them wrong. Okay, then we've got Afghanistan. So your uh, soulmate could be from Afghanistan. We've got the city of Kabul. We've got Pakistan and the cities of Islamabad and Lahore, um, Tajikistan, and we've got the city of Dushban, uh, Dush, Dushanbe, Dushanbe, Tashkent, here is Kyrgyzstan, Bishkek, okay, so they could be from this place, and this is where the cutoff is, so I don't know what country or city this is, let me look it up on Google myself. This is Almaty, Almaty is in Kazakhstan, okay? So they could be Kazakh as well. They could be from Kazakhstan. I believe that all of this here is Kazakhstan right there. So they could very well be from Kazakhstan as well. But I wouldn't go much farther north because again, there's a reason there are borders to this map. This is likely where your soulmate is somewhere in here. If they were meant to be somewhere else, we still have 25 other maps that could have indicated this, you know? So it's most likely, they're most likely uh, from somewhere here that's on this map then we do have a little bit of pakistan and india as well so we've got the uh i don't know if this is states or like provinces we've got ladakh uh jammu and kashmir so they could be kashmir they could be punjabi we've got himachal pradesh it must be where the himalaya is at Uttarakhand, likely uh, Haryana, and New Delhi. So they could be from New Delhi as well. But that's again the cutoff. They're probably not from any much more south because otherwise it would have the map would have indicated. So yeah, I hope that this map is useful to you. I hope that it resonates. Like, watch out for people from 
summer here from these places. But with that being said, yeah, this was it. This was your map. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please subscribe to the channel. I always upload fun pick a cards like this. Also, if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, I would love if you could like the video so that it gets circulating more, you know, that more people get recommended to this video because I personally would love if as many people as possible were able to see this video. Okay, now let's start a discussion down below. Tell me what pally you chose and comment down your results, what resonated for you. If you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is by clicking the link in the description. That's gonna lead you directly to my Etsy shop. Please never ever trust scammers in the comment section pretending to be me asking you to message some sort of phone number to get a reading. Those are all scammers, it's never me. I would never ask you to do that, all right? With that being said, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of the day and goodbye. Hey there, Group P. Welcome to your reading. I hope that you're as excited today as I am because this is a really special video. We're gonna find out about the exact whereabouts of your soulmate through this map right here. Again, I've done this reading a lot of times now and it's still a surprise every time. We've gotten a different place every time, so I'm really excited to see where yours is gonna take us. But before we get to that, I would say, let's get to know a little more about your person. Like who actually is this? Let's get to know some background info. So the tarot card your person is represented by is the Empress. Wow. I'm getting something about like more rural places. I'm getting obviously flowers or very beautiful nature. So no matter where this map ends up pointing us, I do feel like within the borders of this map, it's still gonna be somewhere more rural. So it's maybe probably not a very populated place. Or even if they do live in a really populated city, then this person definitely has the desire to move somewhere really quiet because this person really connects to nature. By the way, I see them most likely being an earth sign. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They don't have to be. If not, they might just embody a lot of earth energy. As I said, they might be very, very connected to nature, love going outside, love exploring. That's the kind of energy I'm getting from them. Also, this is a very personal message, but to you guys, this is genuinely the most beautiful person you have laid your eyes upon. Obviously, on the inside, but also I'm getting like on the outside, physically, when you look at them, they, they genuinely look like a goddess or a god. But I am gonna say this person has a lot of female energy to them, female uh, qualities perhaps. So I'm getting the word pretty, actually pretty resonates with P. Like just you looking at them, you would think, wow, this is genuinely the most uh, beautiful person that I have ever seen. Like they are so pretty. Like how can someone look like this? It is simply about the way maybe their face looks in combination with the way they dress. They dress more loosely, like a uh, loose type of clothing that's probably oversized too. That's, that's the kind of message that I'm getting. And just you looking at them, you get this wow effect. Like wow, oh my God, you're truly speechless. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. I am gonna say they have a lot of this female energy, so they could be, uh, they could look more soft, more sweet, you know, no matter what gender they are. Or maybe they just look very young, like eternally young. I'm also getting they might look a lot younger than their actual age. So yeah, no matter what age they are, uh, take a little chunk off of that, they probably look a lot younger. Uh, also, I'm getting they have really, really clean skin, very flawless uh, looks. Obviously, that's not the only reason that you're drawn to them, but it sure helps. Like, it sure does play a big part. Like, the fact that this person is what you consider your ideal type or, like, very, very beautiful, that's like the cherry on top. The Empress makes me think, oof, there is no one quite like this person. There is no one that can compare. There is no one that can compare because this is just a, I don't know, like a once in a lifetime find. There's just something so different about this person. Like when you think of your usual dating pool, a lot of people seem to be 
more or less the same, I guess. There's a lot of trends and everyone's just following the trends, like whatever's popular. But this person, they are so uniquely themselves. They are the trend. That's, I feel like, what draws you so much to this person. I'm getting they have a very close bond with their mother or maybe uh, they they have a, mo a lot of mother-like qualities maybe. They're very nurturing and caring, like they genuinely care about you. This person doesn't just look amazing, but they're also extremely caring. Like ex they're just there for you, you know? When it comes to their name, they probably have a name that means something like goddess or god or maybe beauty, a name that means beauty. Okay, or a, just a really creative name, maybe that their parents made up, something like that. But yeah, it could uh, have a lot of A's in it, that's what I'm getting with the name, or it, it could be a very female sounding name. For some of you guys, uh, if this, is a, uh, this person is male, I'm also getting this uh, hint that at first, when you hear their name, you're gonna think, oh, okay, this is a this is a girl, this is a woman. Then you actually see him and it's like, oh, I didn't expect this person to be male. Like to you, it might sound uh, like a very female name if this is a, if this is a guy. Like uh, his, something about his name, his energy, or maybe the way that he dresses uh, comes across as, as very feminine. And if this is a woman, then she is just, wow. She's incredibly self-aware. She is a goddess. She really is. This person doesn't really have to do much. They're just a natural beauty. That's the message I'm getting. Okay, now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading. I'm really excited. Keep in mind, this is a general reading still. I did 26 pounds so I was able to get as specific as possible with all these maps. Nonetheless, it is still a bordered area on this physical earth, so it could also pertain to anything. It could be where they were born, maybe this is where they're living now, where they're working, studying, what they consider their home, but it could also be where their roots are, maybe their ancestry, okay? So I am just the messenger. I'm asking you to be the interpreter. So we'll see. Take this message however it resonates, this location however it resonates to you personally. I don't know what's about to expect us, so I'm really excited too. Oh wow, okay. US, Canada. Gulf of Alaska. West coast of Canada and United States is what, what my first impression is. There's like a few areas that are highlighted. There's the states. So we've got British Columbia, Alberta, Sask Saskatchewan, Manitoba. So they could be from any of these areas. I'm curious what, what, what that little city right there is. Wait, let me look it up. Oh, it, no, I don't know. Could this be Anchorage? No, that, that doesn't make sense. No, this is Anchorage. This is Anchorage. I was right. I was right. This is Alaska. Oh. I don't know why I had this idea that Alaska was somewhere in the ocean. Like, my mind. What the fuck? Wow, okay, so they could be from Alaska, going down to Canada, and back to the United States. Somewhere here. This is where they're likely from. Uh, we've got the states of Washington, Montana, North and South Dakota, Wyoming, Idaho, Oregon, Nevada, a little bit of California, Utah, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, and this is, uh, yeah, Kansas, Nebraska, and a tiny little bit of Minnesota, okay? So they could honestly be from any of these places, either they're uh, in Canada or in the United States, but I do think uh, it's gonna be like somewhere here on the more oh, western side, okay? Or if you're thinking United States, it's like somewhere northwest, like it could be Washington, Oregon, like all these places. So it's probably not gonna go much further than this since this is the limit, you know, the border that was being shown to us. There is plenty of other maps, so if they were meant to be from somewhere here, it would have indicated so on the map. So I really think it is one of these states, or one of these Canadian states. So yeah, uh, Canada is a huge place, so that also makes sense with what I said, like uh, one of the more rural areas. 
Uh, I do feel like they're very drawn to living somewhere secluded, somewhere like a small town that doesn't have a lot of population, that doesn't have a lot of traffic and all that stuff, a lot of noise. They really love the simple noise of nature. They're very drawn to live in a very, yeah, in a very uh, rural place. That's the message that I got right from the beginning. Now, I wanna say, <laughs> I hope it resonated for you. I hope it made sense. If you did enjoy the reading, please let me know by subscribing to my channel. I post fun pick a card readings like this. And if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, feel free to like the video so that it gets circulated more, that it gets recommended to more people. I, I honestly would love if as many people as possible were able to watch and see this video. All right, now let's start a discussion in the comments as well. Let's see what you got, what kind of results you got. Tell me what pal you chose and let's also compare it to other people, see what they got as a result. So yeah, if you want a personal reading, the only way to get a personal reading is by clicking the link in my description that takes you directly to my Etsy shop. I will never ever ask you to message any sort of number on WhatsApp to get a reading. Scammers are pretending to be me in the comment section, so please be wary. With that being said, thank you so much guys for watching. Hope to see you again soon and goodbye. Hey there, Group Q. I hope you're as excited today as I am. Today we're going to figure out the exact whereabouts of your soulmate on a physical map. So we'll see where this one leads us to. I've done this reading a lot of times now. It ended up being a totally different place each time. And the reason I did 26 piles is also so that I could get as specific as possible with each one of these individual piles. So I really hope it does end up resonating with you as well. Now, before we actually get to the map, let's find out a little more about your person, your soulmate. Who actually are they? Well, let's find out. The tarot card that is your soulmate is represented by is the world. And that makes it like 10 times more difficult in your case, because I'm getting this person doesn't really have a home or like one home. They're constantly in movement. They're constantly traveling. They're, they're, I'm hearing the word global citizen. This person doesn't really limit themselves to just one place where they live. They're all over the world, constantly. I don't know why. I don't know what the reason is. This could be because of their career makes it possible for them to constantly be somewhere else. I'm just getting the message, actually, this more specific message for you is that you will be meeting this person because they're traveling to your country or like they're coming to see your city, your country, and that's how you'll meet. Or could be the other way around that you're, you end up at the same place that they are. It doesn't have to be their home, but you just meet through traveling. This is the very definite message that I'm getting for your pile. You meet your soulmate through some sort of travel, some sort of exchange. So yeah, uh, you're at this place and they're also at the place and that's how you meet. Uh, could be that you're both uh, foreigners, wherever that is, or maybe this is where you live and they end up visiting you by chance. So it, it could be uh, either or, like both of these options are very much valid. I could see that happening. Also, um, I am getting that this person has some sort of sense of freedom. Like I've already talked about this before, but I just feel like their work allows this to even take place. So maybe there's some sort of flight attendant who constantly gets to see all different places all over the world. And I'm just thinking their like home home, like where they truly feel like their home, they belong. Uh, it's either that this doesn't exist, that they don't have this one place to call home, or they're just never really there because they're constantly all over. I'm thinking a lot of, of a lot of different jobs where there could be like a flight attendant or a pilot or a, a conductor, a, um, something I'm getting, it, it could have to do with vehicles as well, where they operate some sort of vehicle and therefore they get to travel all over, they get to see the entire world, or they could even be an influencer that gets to travel like everywhere. I mean, this could be any sort of job that allows them to really see all over, you know, all over the world, really explore. This person is extremely open to all different kinds of cultures. They love a cultural exchange. This person could be a polyglot, so that means they speak many different languages. They have learn to speak at least three to four languages is what I'm getting. It could be, uh, go up to six to seven languages. That's the information that is coming through. They are very, very well traveled. 
and very, very well educated as well. Love all different kinds of cultures. I feel like they also don't really believe in one specific uh, philosophy or religion. They, I feel like they take whatever they want from uh, all sorts of religions and sort of like created their own truth. So maybe this is the way that you are as well. And that's why you're such a good match to this person. So yeah, uh, th all of this talking makes me a little excited to, you know, where this map is actually going to lead us to because I have no idea. Maybe this is like their origin origin place because again, they're always constantly somewhere else. This is what it appears to be like. So yeah, I, I am going to say they're most likely going to be an earth sign. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If not, they're likely someone who embodies a lot of Earth-like qualities, all right? I'm also gonna say they have a rather common name that is used all over the world. Uh, maybe with slight variations and different spellings, but if you think about it, their name is sort of used all over the world in all different sorts of cultures. And they could also be named after a location, after a place maybe. That's also something that's coming through. And I'm, I'm just like getting like that they don't belong to like one culture. They don't identify with just one culture or one way of being. They're very, very international. I'm hearing the word international that's coming through. This person considers himself, again, I'm getting global citizen. I'm getting like very international. They could be of multiple backgrounds like their ancestry is scattered like all around the globe. They can have a lot of different, um, a, a lot of varying ancestry. That's also a message that I'm getting. They could be mixed race. They could be uh, just, just like, uh, you know, I'm giving you a bunch of options that I could very much see happening. It's all very possible for your person. So yeah, it could also be a name that means completion or wholeness, something like that, okay? Like the world is the ultimate completion. So yeah, if this also resonates with your kind of lifestyle, with the way that you see life, then I feel like you can only get along well. I mean, that's obviously why you're soulmates. So we're gonna get to the most anticipated part of the reading now. Keep in mind, 26 pals means very, very specific information. I don't think it even matters too much because your person is literally all over. So the only thing that would make sense is this was maybe their birthplace, or maybe grew up before they started all this traveling, or this could be their ancestry, or it could be where you guys are gonna meet. It could be any of these things. So please don't attach yourself to any certain outcome. Just accept this information uh, with an open heart, without judgment. Just accept it no matter what this is. <laughs> I don't know myself, so we're gonna find out. I'm just the messenger. You guys are the, also the interpreter, okay? So take it in whatever way it resonates. Let's see, where is group Q's soulmate from? Wow, okay, you got the Middle East, what it seems like. Middle East, little bit of Europe, little bit of Africa, okay? That's on this map. It's like perfectly in the middle. Most likely this person is Middle Eastern, so there's a bunch of countries highlighted here. I've had maps where there was like just one country, so there is a lot of different options for your, uh, for where, whereas they could be from or in, or maybe this is where you guys will meet. I don't know. Let's start off with what's centered on the map. We've got the Cyprus. We've got Turkey. The cities that are highlighted here are Izmir, Istanbul, Ankara, Adana. Uh, we've got the city of Athens in Greece. So we do have... Uh, Greece as well. They could be Greek. They could be Turkish. They could be Bulgarian. But that's, I feel like, the cutoff. If they were meant to be from anywhere else in Europe, it would have indicated so on the map. We do have plenty of other maps as well. So I really do think these borders are the definite cutoffs. So the city of Sofia is here and Bulgaria. That's like the northwestern uh, border of this map. So they're likely not going to be from any more... Uh, uh, you know, up here. There's a bunch of Greek islands and they could be from one of those, whatever's on the map right here. They could be Greek as well. They could be Turkish. They could be Georgian. We've got the city of Tbilisi. Tbilisi. Gosh. Okay. They could be Georgian, Armenian, or from Azerbaijan as well. Any of these places. No highlighted cities there, I guess. Uh, these could be hotspots where, since there are a lot of people are watching this reading, where a lot of your soulmates 
are likely from, or these are just densely populated cities, okay? Uh, they could be from Syria, from Iraq, from Baghdad is another highlighted city, so they could be from Iran as well. Then this is Kuwait, I think, Kuwait. They could be from Kuwait. We've got Jordan, cities of Amman, Beirut, Lebanon. They could be Lebanese. Uh, Jerusalem, so they could be from Israel, Palestine, this area right here, okay? This is where they could be from. Cairo, Alexandria, they could be Egyptian. Really, there's a lot of uh, possibilities with this map. <laughs> Again, this is one of the most, I feel like, scattered maps as well. Like, this is a very huge uh versatility in all these countries so yeah they could be egyptian they could be north african cairo we've got the city of cairo that's highlighted alexandria let's see this one is libya as well cut off of this map okay so they're probably not from more here because otherwise it would have indicated so again there's plenty of other maps mediterranean european Something like that. Wait, which country is this? Is is this all Georgia? Uh, let's see. Oh, no, this is Russia again. Okay, so it could even they could even be Russian, but again, Russia is a huge country, so they're likely from this this very border of Russia to Georgia if they are Russian. Okay, so these are all the possibilities. I hope it was useful. I hope it resonated. And if it did, please don't forget to subscribe. I always post fun pick a cards like this. And if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, please consider liking this video because this way it's gonna be recommended more. I really need this video to start circulating because I would love if as many people as possible were to see this video. Again, let's start a discussion down below. Let's comment what kind of results you got, what resonates for you, and let's see what other people got, you know? Uh, also, if you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is through the link in my description that's gonna take you directly to my Etsy shop. All, everyone in the comment section pretending to be me asking you to message some sort of phone number to get a reading is all scams, okay? Please do not trust it and also point it out when you see it. Thank you so much, guys, for being here with me today. I had a blast reading for you, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Hey there, Group R. Welcome to your reading. I hope you're as excited today as I am, because as you know, today is going to be really special. It's going to be really specific. We're going to get to know the exact whereabouts of your soulmate on this physical map right here. So before we get to do that, let's get started with a little bit of a background information, some basic info about your soulmate, who actually is this person. So the tarot card that they are represented by is the judgment card. Wow. Beautiful. So this makes me think this person is a part of your spiritual awakening and you will meet them exactly at the right time. I'm hearing divine timing is at works. The universe is orchestrating this meeting whenever it is meant to be. That's, I guess, the kind of information that I can give you about your connection. They're, so, they're gonna come along somewhere in the middle of your spiritual journey. This person comes to you after your awakening. So if you don't really consider yourself spiritual, a spiritual person, if you're just watching this for fun, Think about why you might have gotten this exact message. Maybe you are not ready to meet the soulmate. Maybe this soulmate is meant to come to you at a later point in life when your beliefs have changed, when your perspective has changed, something like that. But I just feel like this person is a very, very spiritual person that you're attracting here. And they have been going through their own stuff. They have been operating their own lives, living their own lives. When both of you have done a little bit of work and expanded their consciousness to a certain degree or to a certain level, you are ready to meet because both of you have been learning some key lessons here in life. And it's like when you meet, you can share and you can combine this knowledge that you have, you are gonna be inseparable, like you're gonna be a, a power couple. Maybe this is a twin flame connection as well. Maybe this is not just soulmate. I feel like this one is one that is highly spiritual and like highly, I don't, I don't even know how to say it, like magnetic is what I'm getting. I just feel like they have a lot of integrity, that's what I'm getting. They really stand firm in their beliefs they are true to their purpose. They have recognized their purpose 
and it seems like it is a similar purpose to what your life purpose is or what you maybe know or not know to be your life purpose. So they are in some sort of similar direction. I'm getting, I'm hearing the word community, like there is a community, maybe a mutual community that you're both a part of and you are like helping this community evolve or this could even be the spiritual community. I don't know which one it is. It could be any sort of like group of people where a lot of, where there's a lot of like-mindedness, where there's a lot of understanding, okay, uh, for each other. That's what I'm getting. And this person appears to be from that same group, from that same community. This is someone who has a strong sense of purpose. They have a drive. They feel like they are on a mission, on a spiritual quest. It's a highly spiritual or religion, I, religious, I feel like this could go either way, person who likes to even live according to those values. That's all I can say. Also, when it comes to like astrology, I think they're most likely going to be a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I'm also, there's random, uh, a random message coming through. They are multilingual, bilingual, or maybe even more than that, but they speak multiple languages. I also feel like they have uh, some sort of immigration background. They have roots somewhere, but then they immigrated somewhere else. So maybe their parents uh, immigrated somewhere else. So it's going to be interesting to actually see where this map is going to take us, what this map has to say, what place it is going to be. Uh, I am going to say if when it comes to their name, I feel like there's different ways to pronounce and spell that name. Like there's a lot of variations to, to spell this name. They might have even sort of tweaked their name a little bit or translated their name a little bit when they came to a different country. I mean, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it, but this is just the the information that I'm getting. That's what they decided to do. There's like a, a something that they did with their name when they uh, came to that different country, okay? So this might be relevant for some of you guys. This might resonate for some of you guys. Uh, it could also mean awakening, freedom, like the, the savior, the chosen one, something like that, like when it comes to name meanings. Let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading. Where is your soulmate from? Keep in mind, I did 26 piles so that we could get as specific as possible. So this will be a really specific place. If it doesn't resonate, maybe it's not your reading, but also I'm asking you to accept this info with an open mind, open heart, see whatever comes out. Also, this could be pertaining to anything where they were born, where they're now living, working, studying, whatever they call home but this could also be where their roots are, their ancestry is from. So yeah, I'm just the messenger. I'm gonna need you guys to interpret this message to whatever it may mean to you and your soulmate, all right? Now, this is where they are from, wow. Um, likely Asia, Southeast Asia to be exact. We've got quite a few countries here. Let's start off with the Philippines. I don't know why this one is catching my attention. We've got the city of Manila that's highlighted, Luzon, Panay, uh, Negros, Mindan Mindanao. By the way, I'm terribly sorry if I'm pronouncing any of them wrong. So the cities of Mindanao, Cagayan de Oro, and Davao, Palawan, Spratly Islands. These are all highlighted. I guess these could be hotspots where a lot of people live or maybe since a lot of people are watching this where a lot of your soulmates could be from. All right. Now, yeah, then we've got what country is this? Hold on. Let me look this up. I admit I've got to cheat a little bit. Look this one up on Google Maps as well. Uh, this appears to be Brunei. Brunei and Sabah, I believe that might be a territory, and this one is Sarawak, okay? This one is Indonesia. That would be like the definite cutoff. So I don't think they're from much more south than this, because if they were, it would have, you know, indicated so on the map. Again, there's 25 other maps that could indicate this. So I do think if they are from Indonesia, they're from somewhere up north. We've got the Brunei as well. It could be from Brunei. There are a lot of islands here, Riau Islands. This is Malaysia, so they could be Malaysian. And there's Kuala Lumpur somewhere here, territory of Terengganu. Here we've got a bunch of territories from Thailand. I mean, this is the mainland Thailand, and there's a bunch of like 
it's not island. I don't know what to call this part, but like this part, whatever it is, it's technically not on the map. So I'm not sure if it's gonna resonate. I guess they could be Thai as well. So we've got a little bit of Thailand right here. Then we've got Cambodia and Phnom Penh. We've got Vietnam right here. So they could be Vietnamese. The Paracel Islands as well. The South China Sea seems to be relevant. So anything surrounding the South China Sea. And Hainan, what is this? Uh, what country does this belong to? Oh, this is part of China, okay? The island of Hainan, I think. They could be from there as well. I'd say maybe like the Hong Kong area, but I really wouldn't go much more north than that because that would be far off the map again. But yeah, China is a huge country, so I guess it could be somewhere along this along the coast as well, although it's not really on the map. So they could be from there as well. So yeah, uh, then we've got Vientina, Vien, Vientiane, 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 Laos. This is Laos or Laos, Laos or Laos. Uh, they could be from there, there as well. Or something. All right. So yeah, these are all the places. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty diverse map. It's I've had maps where it was mostly just one country. So yeah, there's a lot of possibility for you guys and where your soulmate could be from. So yeah, uh, I would say somewhere Southeast Asia to be exact. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really hope that this one resonated with you, that you this was somehow useful to you. And if it did, then feel free to like the video so that it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love if as many people as possible were able to watch and see this video. Also, if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, consider cons uh, subscribing to my channel. I always upload fun pick a cards like this. You sure wouldn't want to miss out on. Let's also start a discussion below. Tell me what poly you chose, what kind of info resonated. And yeah, let's see what other people got as well. <laughs> if you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is by clicking the link in my description. That's gonna take you directly to my Etsy shop. I'll write anyone in the comment section posing to be me. They might have my pick and my name, but be aware they're all scammers. I would never ask you to message any sort of phone number to get a reading, all right? With that being said, thank you so much guys for being here. I really appreciate you and hope you have the best rest of the day. Goodbye. Hey there, Group S. Welcome to your reading. I hope it finds you well, and I hope you're as excited today as I am. Today, we're gonna get to know the exact whereabouts of your soulmate based on this physical map. I've done a lot of these readings, and it's a surprise every time. I personally cannot wait where this map is gonna take us. And before we get to that, let's find out some basic info about your soulmate, shall we? So let's find out more about who they actually are. So the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is the Ace of Wands, or in your case, the entire suit of wands. Because here's what I did. I, uh, I had 26 piles. I used the 22 major arcana, and then I used one of each uh, of the of the minor suits. So yeah, you got the Ace of Wands. So this just tells me that this connection is honestly all about passion. It's about excitement. This is something fresh, something new. This person, like if you put like 10 people next to each other, your soulmate is the one that stands out there. Like there's so much excitement. There's so much passion. And this is also the way that this person lives their life. I'm now I'm getting this quote, YOLO, you only live once, do whatever the hell you want. This is sort of the person's mantra or life motto. And the way that your guys are meeting is also sort of interesting because you don't really immediately recognize this person as a soulmate or as a potential suitor. I mean, there's just a lot of passion involved at first. I won't lie, like you could be meeting this person with different intentions. So like you see this person as someone that's really passionate and that is, uh, I'm, I'm getting mainly sexy. Like there's just so much sexual energy between you guys at first. So again, it's a general reading. I'm gonna give you a bunch of options, but I'm, I won't lie, this could start off as a one night stand or something where you don't really have anything long term in mind. I mean, you're not ruling it out, but you're not even like considering it as an option at first. Just like, hey, this is an amazing person or you just meet them uh, to have a really good time together at the beginning and you don't even like consider uh, 
hey, there could be more to this. Like there could be some deeper connection to this. Then as you get to know this person, you realize that you're actually pretty like-minded. You have a similar approach to life. I won't lie. This person is very fiery. They're most likely a fire sign if you got the Ace of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they're also very extroverted. They're just out there, you know, they're very confident, confident. I mean, probably not to the degree where they're cocky. It's just they're very self-aware. They know who they are and they own it. They fully own it. Like no one can tell them uh, to contain themselves, to be less of what they are. They really, really fully are aware of who they are and that's what makes it so beautiful. Yeah, maybe they teach you some of this confidence if, you, if you're someone who's uh, rather introverted or even if not, uh, even if you're uh, pretty out there as well. It seems like you're just a pretty good match because you're gonna be two people who are fully aware of who they actually are and who are in tune with themselves, their mission, who won't accept a no, this is what I'm getting. So yeah, uh, it's a very fiery, passionate connection. You're gonna actually feel this. For some reason, I'm getting the message that this person has a really uh, amazing body or what you would consider amazing. They like to be naked. It's either that they like to be naked a lot or you like to see them naked a lot. I don't know why that is, but uh, for some reason, this pile is very, very sexual. <laughs> S for sex, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why that is, really but that's just the way that it seems to be. And I'm also getting the info that being intimate with this person is like no other. Like this is a completely different experience. It's either that they know what they're doing or there's just something about them or some mutual agreement that you have that makes it even more exciting. Like maybe some mutual interests or some mutual things that you guys like to explore together. I don't know what it is, but but like uh, being intimate with this person. Wow, they're a, they're a great kisser. There's, there's something about two bodies that I'm getting, two bodies that are uniting and that, that are just so perfect for each other. Gosh. Uh, heavy sexual energy for some reason. Uh, this this person overall just seems like a breath of fresh air, all right? It's a breath of fresh air. Again, uh, I'm, I'm getting that maybe you're, you have this like pattern of people that you seem to have attracted into your life that are somewhat all like the same type of person, but with your soulmate, they're very, very different. They are literally everything you tried for these other people to be so hard. You tried to maybe mold them a certain way to fulfill some sort of expectations. Maybe this was even in your head, but this person is all of those things. Your soulmate is all of those things that you have wanted so badly. Someone who will accept you, who will accept your desires, like your longings, your boundaries too. There's just a, a lot of uh, mutual agreement with this with this connection because this person, they have their boundaries too. They have their expectations too. And that's why it's going to work so well. Now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading and find out where your soulmate is from. Keep in mind, I did do 26 pals so that I could get as specific as possible with each one of these maps. So it is going to be a very specific place. If it doesn't resonate, Maybe it's not meant for you, but again, this could be pertaining to anything. Where they were born, where they now live, work, study, what they consider home. It could also be where their ancestry is from. It could be pertaining to anything. I'm just the messenger. I need you to be the interpreter and interpret this message in whatever way you see fit. Now let's see where is group S's soulmate from. Oh wow, okay. So somewhere uh, Africa. This is definitely more the uh, sub-Saharan area of Africa. It's a lot of countries as well. So there's a, a lot of diversity here in the countries. I have maps where there was just like mostly one country perhaps because it was huge. But yeah, uh, with you guys, uh, your soulmate seems to be here from or in Africa. So let's go over this map real quick. We've got Namibia, Botswana, and there's some highlighted cities as well. I believe those could be hotspots, uh, maybe where a lot of people live, or since a lot of people are watching this reading, where a lot of your soulmates could be from. Pretoria, it, I don't even know what country this belongs to. Hold on, hold on, I've got to cheat. I've got to cheat a little bit. I got to open this one up on Google Maps. 
So this is actually South Africa. So they could be from South Africa as well. I don't know if I would go as far as Cape Town because that one's kind of cut off from the map. I don't know, it could be. They could be South African, they could be from Botswana, they could be from Zimbabwe, from Mozambique, could be from Malawi, from Zambia, from Angola, from the Democratic Republic of Congo, from Rwanda, from Burundi, Tanzania. There's a city that's highlighted, Dar es Salaam. Um, Again, I think I've seen this area in another map as well. So I do believe that this is the definite cutoff. Like they're probably not from much more north than what we can see on this map. Because again, there's 25 other maps that could have indicated this. So then they could be from South Sudan as well, Uganda. And this one is, oh, what is this? Kenya. Okay, it could be from Kenya as well. Uh, Nairobi is highlighted here. So maybe... That's a hot spot where a lot of your soulmates are from. Uh, Central African Republic, we've got Cameroon, the Equatorial Guinea, we've got Gabon. Your soulmate could be from any of these places. They could be Nigerian, could be from Lagos, Lagos. Again, I'm sorry if I pronounce any of these places wrong. Could be from Togo, from Ghana. This would be the Cote d'Ivoire. This would be the Cote d'Ivoire, uh, the Ivory Coast. They could be from Abidjan. Liberia and Seneca. No, Sierra Leone. This is Sierra Leone. Yeah, Sierra Leone. Maybe even Senegal. I don't know if I would count it. It's technically off the map, but I'm not sure. And interpret it as you see fit. So yeah, this really is the map of where your soulmate is from. Maybe they originated from this place or they live here. Could be anything, okay? So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that it resonated with you. And if it did, let me know down below. Let's start a discussion. Let's see. Uh, let me hear what you got, what resonated for you. And let's read what other people got. Also, if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, please consider subscribing to the channel. I always post fun pick a cards like this. I'm also kindly asking you to please like the video so that it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love as many people as possible were able to see and watch this video, all right? If you want a personal reading, the only way to get a personal reading is by clicking the link in my description. That is gonna take you directly to my Etsy shop. All right, please never trust any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me. I would never ask you to message any sort of number to get any reading, okay? So please also point it out when you see it. Never trust any scammers. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you have a great rest of the day and goodbye. Mwah. Hey there, Group T. Welcome to your reading. I hope that you're as excited as I am because today we're going to get really specific. We're going to find out the exact whereabouts of your soulmate with the help of this map. All right. So yeah, before we get to that, let's find out some basic background information of your soulmate. Like, who actually is this person that we consider to be your soulmate? Let's find out. So the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is... The sun, that is simply beautiful. Here's the message that I'm getting for you. Your soulmate is happiness personified. Your soulmate is the definition of happiness. When you are in this connection, you are going to feel nothing but happiness. This is gonna feel so good. To genuinely be around this person is all that you need to make you happy. You don't need any external things. Like you don't need anything to tie your connection to this person to. Like you don't need any fancy places or any uh, expensive dates or gifts and all of that. No, none of that really matters because truly who this person is at their core and who you are at the core, that's what's gonna connect. And this is what's gonna cause eternal happiness. Two people finding each other based on who they are at their core, who they truly are as a person. And the rest is like, is not really necessary because there is such a bright amount of light in this person, like such a beautiful energy. This person is able to make you laugh from your core, from the bottom of your heart. You are going to feel loved. You're going to feel love for this person. This is a beautiful, bright and vibrant connection. And you don't need much. When you're around this person, you will feel what true happiness is like, especially when it comes to being with another person. This person is gonna actually show you that you don't need much. 
that you can make you can, you know you can be happy by the simplest uh, with the simplest things i'm getting that this person is some sort of minimalist they live for the moment for the experience they don't really live for the tangible they don't really attach themselves too much this person is just happiness personified when you see them there's going to be a laugh on your face a smile on your face that you're going to be genuinely happy when you're around them this person is always 100 percent clear with their intentions towards you so if at any point you have to ask yourself hmm their vibe seems off. Are they really meant for me? No, they're not. Because with your true soulmate, you're gonna always know where they're at. This is what they're thinking. This is what they're in for. There's no, not gonna be any question marks because with this person that's truly meant for you, it's always gonna be, okay, maybe not crystal clear, but you're always gonna sort of know, okay, yeah, they have my back. They really do like me. They really do want me. They're, you know, you're not gonna read, need any reassurance because they will show you based on their actions. They're, this person, they have actions. By the way, they're most likely gonna be, I would say, a uh, fire sign when it comes to astrology. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Sagittarius, uh, they change a lot, like they're very spontaneous. They have this, this fire energy. Like even if they're not a fire sign, they likely embody a lot of fire energy. There's a lot of change that they're accustomed to that they like in their life. They don't like, you know, one thing and then remaining with this forever. They they just, they love a lot of change naturally. And this is why they might not, not like making promises, but therefore they're gonna show you exactly what their intention is based on their action. Your soulmate is honestly true happiness. They're an optimist, they're positive, they focus on the good in every situation, and they can see the good, and they can see how every situation benefits you, or them, or the both of you. If I had to describe them, I would probably describe them as some adorable human being with a lot of positive energy. Like, this person is a bundle of joy. That's what I'm getting. For some of you guys, this person might really awaken the lust for life again, the lust to, you know, experience more there's also a lot of innocence some childlike energy this person is in touch with their inner child they never lost lost this quality like they never let society shape them into some sort of conditioned human being of what's acceptable and what's not this person truly radiates they have some sort of bright aura they have their solar plexus in full effect they really know who they are as a person i'm getting they have the most beautiful smile ever you're gonna catch them smiling in a lot of their pictures uh, that's how you can recognize them. They're just a very, very positive person. Recognize the good vibes in people. You're going to know that your soulmate has all of these uh, qualities. They're going to have these good vibes. They probably don't care about what's considered to be cool. They just want to be happy. You know, they're just they're themselves and they want to be happy. They have the most beautiful smile. This is what I can tell you, okay? Even just like seeing them or hearing about their name just puts a smile to your face. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. So yeah, now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading and find out physically, geographically, where is your soulmate from? Keep in mind, it is still a general reading. So this could be pertaining to anything. Where they were born, now living, working, studying, what they consider their home. There could also be where their ancestry is from, their origins, all right? So yeah, I'm just the messenger. I'm going to need you to be the interpreter. So interpret this message however you may see fit. Let's take a look. Where is Group T's soulmate from? So we've got uh, the Middle East and a little bit of Central Asia, okay? So yeah, they, your soulmate could likely be from any of these places. The city of Dubai is highlighted here. It could be from the UAE, or maybe live or born there or whatever. Uh, we've got Qatar. Uh, by the way, sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these cities or countries wrong. We've got the, I think it's the country of Bahrain. We've got the city of Dammam highlighted and Riyadh is also highlighted, so they could be from Saudi Arabia. We've got uh, Kuwait, we've got Iraq, Iraq, uh, the city of Baghdad is highlighted. We've got the entirety or most of Iran, the city of Tehran. We've got Turkmenistan, Ashgabat, Afghanistan, and uh, I don't know what this is. It seems to be cut off again. I would say uh, if they are from Afghanistan or from what is this country, Pakistan, they're probably from the very, very west of the country. This is the definite cutoff because again, there's 25 other maps that could have indicated this. So if you were drawn to this map, I do think the main focus seems to be on these countries right here. 
so yeah, uh, we've got the Gulf of Oman, the G Persian Gulf. For some reason, I feel like a lot of you guys have soulmates in Dubai for some reason. Dubai is a really is a really big hot spot that I'm seeing here on this map. Also, maybe uh, Riyadh or Baghdad or Tehran. Okay, so for you guys, your soulmate is likely Middle Eastern or Central Asian. All right, this is the map that we've got for you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that it resonated. And if it did, let's start a discussion down below. Please let me know. Also, let me know what poly you chose and see what other people got. Let's compare. All right. Now, if you do appreciate the effort that went into this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post fun pick a cards like this you wouldn't want to miss out on. And please uh, consider liking this video so it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love if as many people as possible were to see this video. So yeah. By the way, if you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is directly through the link in my description, which is going to take you to my Etsy shop. Please never trust any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me asking you to message some sort of phone number. Keep in mind, it is never me. It's always uh, scammers. Now, yeah, with that being said, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Really enjoyed reading for you. Hope it was helpful, and I hope I was able to help you out. Thank you guys so much, and hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Hey there, group you. Welcome to your reading. Today, as you know, we're going to channel the exact whereabouts of your soulmate with the help of this map. It's gonna be a very interesting and also specific read. That's why I decided to have 26 piles so that I could get as specific as possible with each one of the individual piles. Remember, it's still a general reading, so only take the information that resonates with you. Before we actually get to the exact location, let's find out a little more about your soulmate. Let's find out some background info. Who actually is this person? So uh, the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is the lovers, beautiful. And this just signifies, this just indicates a divine union. A, I'm getting a connection that is in perfect harmony and perfect balance. These are two people that are truly meant for each other. So I'm going to say this is likely your romantic soulmate. This is your ride or die. I'm getting this could be a twin flame and I really use this term sparingly. I'm getting the information that this person is actually very different from you at the same time they are just like you. So very similar to you as well. I'm getting the yin and the yang. This connection is a perfect balance of the male and the female energy. I think you two actually go so well together because you both embody a lot of femininity and masculinity at the same time. This person is a very authentic person and they make their values known. You're going to know. This is a drama-free person. That's what I'm getting. And you're going to sort of meet this person when you've matured a little bit. You will be meeting this person in a very stable timing of your life where everything seems to be working and going in your favor. I see you taking a lot of responsibility during this timing. So this is likely when you're going away from the whole party every weekend, get drunk and then having a hangover and this kind of these these kinds of things. When you're going away from that and you know entering a more stable lifestyle, entering a more uh, grounded lifestyle. I feel like this is when you'll be meeting this person. For some of you guys, I'm getting, for some reason, I'm hearing uh, yeah, like 30s, could be in your 30s. That's where it's most likely, or maybe later. I'm not sure. I mean, this is going to depend on the individual case. It's going to be different for every single one of you. Maybe this could also be earlier. This could be earlier than your 30s, could be your 20s as well. And up until this point, when you finally get to meet this person, the universe seems to be constantly putting you through, let's call them learning lessons. You're meeting with all different kinds of people. And I guess it never seems to fully 100% work out because you're meant to take away something from each and every one of these people until you finally meet this lover, until you finally enter this divine union with your divine partner. So yeah, why is this happening to you this way? Because it is part of the soul contract that you signed before incarnating. You are actually meant to go through several cycles of love. Maybe this is several relationships. Maybe you're someone who has been in a few relationships or connections before. And this is all part of your karma and part of your destiny. And it feels like as soon as you have learned a certain lesson, as soon as you have fully found yourself, 
with the help of your own experience and going through all these different types of relationships obviously teaches you, hey, what do I want and what do I don't want? The more experience you gain, the more confident and comfortable you become in your values and this helps you set boundaries. Now, when you've, I feel like, established these boundaries and you're very clear with your intentions, as soon as you have established the sense of knowing what you actually want, this feeling of readiness, being ready for something real that could potentially last a lifetime because this is likely what's happening to you. This connection is probably your last one. I won't lie because I see this as the eternal union. This could also be a past life connection. This could be you reuniting with someone that you have known in different lives before. And you're going to know because when you meet this person, it's going to seem like, hey, I, I feel like I've met this person before. Like we're strangely comfortable. Like there's maybe no ice to break and you just get each other. It feels like you've spent time before, but you just can't explain it. It certainly wasn't in this lifetime. The reason also I'm getting you're being put through these learning lessons is so that you can establish a sense of self because all these connections, all the experiences, doesn't even have to be romantic connections, teach you something about yourself. And when you have established the sense of identity, this is who I really am. When you're in your fullest power, when you're in your full power, your fullest potential, this is when you're going to attract this lover to you. That's the message that I'm getting for you. Your lover is someone that is very much in touch with themselves. They know who they are. So imagine if you're not like that too, it's not going to resonate. So you're going to have to find out who you are first. You're going to have to fully find yourself and become anchored in this belief, in your core beliefs and your values, because this person is as well. And keep in mind, this is a general reading. So I don't know where you are on in this journey. You could be at the beginning, but you could also be close to the end. That would signify, hey, maybe this lover is right around the corner. Maybe they're really close. Maybe you can feel it. That's always a good sign. I feel like you can feel this connection coming closer to you when it is. Your intuition will be telling you, you'll be seeing signs, you'll be seeing omens, okay? Also, I'm getting, for a lot of you guys, you're currently experiencing this strange uh, desire to self-improve, to become a better person. You don't know what it's for. Well, ultimately it's for yourself, but also the universe is pushing you into a direction. Hey, you need to develop in some kind of way. Like you need to learn something right now. And you're really, really motivated to learning all these things, to getting to know yourself on different levels. Part of the reason why this is happening so that you're actually prepared for this meeting, so that you get to step into your fullest potential and you're aligned with your destiny, then this meeting can happen. When it comes to name meanings as well, maybe they could have a name that means love or like whatever language you speak. Maybe you can translate the word love or a similar word, a similar meaning, maybe lovely, cute, adorable, something like this. So a name meaning that, that means something like that. Also, I'm getting for some of you guys, your soulmate, your person has the same name as you. It could be that they have the exact same name as you or maybe like a slight variation. For example, Andre and Andrea. That was just an example, but it could be any similar names, okay? And I'm also getting that they're most likely going to be an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right, when it comes to astrology, even if they're not, they likely embody a lot of air-like qualities. Now, let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading. Let's find out where your soulmate is from on this earth. I am about to show you a map of a very specific place here on earth. By the way, I don't know which one it is. So, this could be pertaining to anything. It could be where they were born, now living, working, studying, whatever they call home. But this could also be where their ancestry is from, origins. I'm just the messenger. I need you guys to be the interpreter and take this message however it resonates. So where is group U's soulmate from? Eastern Europe. So we've got a bunch of different countries that are represented here on this map. Let's take a look. We've got, first of all, 
Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, where they could be from. There's a few highlighted cities. I believe those are likely hotspots where a lot of people live, or these, since a lot of people could be watching, could be places where a lot of your soulmates uh, are likely from. So they could be from the city of Riga or Vilnius. Then we've got a portion of Russia as well, and the capital of Moscow is highlighted. So they could be from Russia or especially from this part of Russia right here. And another city, Voronezh, Kharkiv, and Kiev. Okay, we've got the big part of the Ukraine as well. So your soulmate could be Ukrainian. I'm not sure what city this is, Rostov. Okay, I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit. I'm gonna have to look this one up. Rostovondon. Okay, so they could be from there. They could be from Russia, from the Ukraine. Your soulmate could also be from Bel Belarus. Uh, the city of Minsk is highlighted here. Then moving on to the left, we've got Poland and the city of Warsaw is highlighted. So your soulmate could be Polish. We've got the Baltic Sea here. And then we've got the Czech Republic. We've got Slovakia city of Budapest, we've got Hungary, and uh, we've got Austria, Vienna, Moldova as well, and I believe this is where Sweden would be, right? And I believe Stockholm is somewhere up there. I believe that's like, I'd say that's like the ultimate, uh, you know, border. Like, they're probably not going to be from much more up north than that. Because if they were meant to be from somewhere else, like over there, it would indicate so. There's also 25 other maps that could indicate so. So I'd say they're most likely from somewhere like Eastern Europe here. And the other like border is like here where the Czech Republic and Austria is. Yeah, they could be from there. But also I think the main focus is supposed to be this. Okay, this right here. Ukraine, Belarus, Moscow, maybe Russia, this part of Russia, these countries. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, they could be Polish, okay, the entirety of Poland is on here, so it's very likely that they're Polish, Slovakian, Hungarian, Austrian, Czechian, how do you say it? I don't know, uh, but yeah, okay, so this is your map, and I hope that it made sense for you, I hope that it resonated, and yeah, that's all I have for you today. In case you do appreciate the effort that went into this, please consider liking this video so that it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love if as many people as possible were to see this video. Also, please subscribe to the channel. I always post fun pick a cards like this you wouldn't want to miss out on. Also, let's start a discussion down below. Tell me what pal you chose. Let's see your results. Tell me what resonated. And also, let's read what other people have to say. If you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is directly through my Etsy shop. Link will be in the description. Please never ever trust any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me asking you to message some sort of phone number i would never ever ask you to do that all right with that being said thank you so much guys for being here today i hope you have a lovely rest of the day and goodbye hey there group v welcome to your reading as you know today we're going to get to know the exact whereabouts of your soulmate so i hope you're as excited as i am i've done this many times now and it's been a surprise every single time i have no idea where on this earth this map is gonna take us. It is gonna be really specific. So if the reading doesn't end up resonating, maybe it wasn't yours, okay? So accept all the information I'm about to give you with a very open mind and an open heart, and I'm sure something is gonna resonate. Now, before we actually get to know the exact whereabouts, let's find out a little bit of background information about this person, like who actually is this person that apparently is your soulmate, all right? So the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is the strength card. Apparently your soulmate is very, very strong, has a lot of resilience, can take on a lot. They are definitely a force to be reckoned with. I'm getting there's no one quite like your soulmate when it comes to dealing with obstacles. They always find a way to make everything work in their favor. This person could be slightly older than you, slightly maybe by Three to ten years is what I am getting. That's the information that I'm getting here. Also, I'm getting they are very strong emotionally and physically. So it's it's both sides of the spectrum. They're likely into fitness. They have a very, very athletic body. They 
do like uh, eating healthy as well. They've got everything that it takes to be a personal coach, to be honest. Like they could be some sort of uh, role model for a lot of people. Like a lot of people look at them and think, oh wow, I would wanna learn from this person. That's the kind of impression that I'm getting. This person has struggled a lot when they were growing up and they have transformed these struggles into their own personal power. This person is very fit, athletic, healthy, also, I think likes the outdoors a lot. This person is very spontaneous. They like sports, so they're very, yeah, just an athletic person overall. They also have a lot of emotional capability, if that makes sense. They are very mature and very ripe. They're not here to play games. If they feel like, hey, this doesn't work, they're not gonna put any more focus on it. They're very uh, adult in that sense. Like, they're just honestly looking for a partner. If it works, great, if it doesn't, hey, uh, no problem, let's move on to the next one. Like, let's date the next person. That's the kind of approach that they have. Like, th they're kind of like uh, sick of the all the drama and the chasing and the toxic games. Like, this person is very, very down to earth. I'm thinking uh, when it comes to astrology, this person is most likely gonna be a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they've just got that spirit. There's a lot of power in this person. This person is very powerful and influential. For some reason, I keep hearing like influential. This person has a lot of people that are influenced by them. Maybe some sort of community, okay? Maybe they are a coach. I heard coach or teacher or like some maybe even influencer. I don't know what it is, but a lot of people look at them and they're like, hey, I wanna know what they're thinking. I wanna know what they're doing, how they're doing it. I'm gonna take them as a good example. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from your person. They can withstand pretty much any challenge with a calm demeanor and collected attitude. It's like they never lose their cool. It's like they're so collected, so they could be meditating as well. I'm thinking uh, yoga or meditation is also something they could be into. Nothing's a challenge. They see the they see the good in every challenge. They see the positive in every apparently negative situation. They see how they can learn something from it. So every obstacle only makes them stronger, not weaker. They're just extremely self-aware, but also I'm getting, uh, sometimes they can be a little cocky, to be honest. Like sometimes they can be a little too confident. Maybe they always think they're right. This is the type of person. They could also have a name that means something like strength, protection, brave, the fearless, some kind of name meaning like that, okay? Now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading and find out where your soulmate is from. Keep in mind, it's still a general reading. I did 26 pals so I was able to get as specific as possible with each and every one of these maps. So it is gonna show you a very specific place, but also how you interpret it is up to you. I'm just the messenger. I need you to interpret this message in whatever way you see fit. This could be where they were born, now living, studying, working, whatever they call home, but it could also be where their ancestry is from, where their origins are, okay? Use your own intuition to tell you how this message resonates. Okay, your soulmate is from... <laughs> I believe this is Southeast Asia. More specifically, we've got a bunch of countries that are highlighted here on this map. So they could be from Singapore. This right here, hold on, I'm gonna have to look it up on my computer screen as well, because it's a lot more detailed. Uh, this right here is Singapore, and over up there we've got Malaysia. However, I don't think they're gonna be from much more up north, because otherwise the map would indicate so. They could be from Singapore in Singapore. A bunch of uh, territories or provinces are highlighted here. Riau, West Sumatra, Jambi, South Sumatra, Lampung. The city of Jakarta is highlighted here. So they could be from Jakarta. Uh, West Java, East Java, the Java Sea, somewhere here. The Christmas Island, okay? <laughs> they could be from there. We've got Bali. Also, this could be the place where you will meet your soulmate maybe. Uh, West Nusa Tenggara, East Nusa Tenggara. And we've got the, a lot, a large part from Indonesia as well. So they could be Indonesian, your soulmate, from Makassar. Uh, city of Makassar is highlighted. It could be from South Sulawesi, West Sulawesi, Central Sulawesi, North Sulawesi, anywhere Sulawesi. Uh, and this, I believe, is also, um, is this Indonesia too? Indonesia and Brunei, okay? So it could be from Indonesia or Brunei. 
uh, North Kalimantan, East Kalimantan, Central Kalimantan, South Kalimantan, West Kalimantan, Sarawak, okay? By the way, sorry in case I pronounce any of these territories wrong. So yeah, this apparently is the map of where your soulmate is from. I hope that this is useful to you. And if you do appreciate the effort that went into this video, please consider liking the video so that it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love if as many people as possible were to see this video. Also, please subscribe to the channel. I always post fit, fun pick a cards like this that you wouldn't want to miss out on. All right, also let's start a discussion down below. Tell me what poly you chose. If you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is directly through the link in my description that's gonna lead you to my Etsy shop. Please never trust any scammers in the comment section telling you to message a certain phone number for a reading. I would never ask you to do that, all right? Please also point it out when you see it. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of the day and goodbye. Hey there, group W. Welcome to your reading. I hope that you're as excited today as I am because this will be a very, very special and detailed video about the exact whereabouts of your soulmate. We're going to find out with the help of this map right here. But before we get to that part, let's actually find out some background information about your soulmate. Like who are they as a person? Who is this? How can you recognize them? All right. Now the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is the Ace of Swords. Here's what I did since it's 26 piles. I included the 22 major arcana and one of each minor suit. So you happen to get the suit of swords, ace of swords to be more specific. So this just tells me that this is gonna be a connection that is based on a lot of intellect, that is very mature in a way where both parties pretty much know what they want and they can safely and securely say, hey, we sort of have the same values and I would love to try this. I would love to make this work with you. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting. You could actually be meeting at something that involves activism, okay? I feel like you, if you're an activist, well, this person certainly is an activist. They stand by their truth. They wanna make it known and they wanna be the change that they would wish to see. This person is an intellectual. They are very smart. They're constantly looking to gain access to more information. They are a, perhaps a student if not student, quite literally, they just constantly want to learn more. They're very interested to see how this world works. They're very inquisitive and curious. I would say they're more on the extroverted side. By the way, suit of swords, they're most likely going to be an air sign or just embody a lot of air qualities. So air signs would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So watch out for those. I'm getting what you really connect with when it comes to this person. Although everything else might be uh, amazing too, like their looks and stuff and the way they present themselves. But what you really, really connect with when it comes to this person is their mind. It's like their mind is the most beautiful and treasured sacred part of this person. So once you get to know their mind, this is why I'm saying you've truly fall in love with them. So give everyone a chance this is definitely something that you're gonna have to experience in person. It might be slightly harder to truly capture this essence of them through text. They could be more of a bad texter and they're really great in person, that's what I'm getting. It's all about the mind connection. This is a union of the minds. This person might have very similar values like you do. You might have a similar way of thinking. I'm hearing the word activism, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, maybe that has to do with how you guys connect. You connect over a common cause or like a, some similar beliefs. This person is very analytical and logical. I do think they're more rational. I don't know, it could depend on what kind of person this is, but it's also likely that this person believes in science. Like they wa always want the facts. This could be the type of person that they are. I mean, they could be spiritual. I don't know. It's going to depend on, again, the individual case. I think they're also going to be very direct. Like, I feel like they have no time for drama. They just want to know, hey, what is up with you? Please tell me the truth. They like to have the facts. That's what I'm getting. And they can't stand this uncertainty, this not knowing what's happening, what's going on. They do like to be in control and they like to know, hey, this is what's going on. So honestly, it would kill them 
to be ghosted. This is the type of person because they just want to know, hey, where am I at? I, I just want to know whether it's a yes or a no, just tell me. That's the kind of energy that I'm feeling. On the other hand, they're also going to be the first person to tell you, hey, I really like you. They're going to be pretty blunt with it, to be honest. They're going to be like, hey, I, I think you're amazing. Like they're going to give you all these compliments, because but they genuinely mean it. That's the thing. And another uh, information is coming through that there is something about their name. I think they go by a nickname or like they shortened their name somehow or they invented a name somehow or maybe they simply don't like it as much. So they go by some sort of nickname or like a uh, short version of their name, maybe. I don't know what it is. Or maybe they go by their, their middle name instead. So yeah, uh, whatever resonates. Now let's get to the most anticipated part of this reading and let's find out where your soulmate is from. Again, keep in mind, I had 26 pals so that I would be able to get as specific as possible with each and every one of these. So I will be giving you a very specific location on this earth. So please, I am just the messenger. I need you to interpret this message in however way you see fit. This could be where they were born, where they're now living, residing, studying. This could be what they call home, but it could also be their, where their ancestry is, their origins are from, all right? So yeah, um, accept this message with an open mind and open heart. We'll see what this place is. So where is group W's soulmate from? All right, so we've got Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname. It's definitely uh, South America, where your soulmate is from. Like the top part, the north of South America, this is where your soulmate is likely gonna be from. Let's take a look at these countries. So let's start off right here. They could be from Colombia. There's a bunch of cities that are highlighted. I believe these could be hotspots where a lot of people live, or maybe this is where your soulmate is most likely gonna be from one of these cities. We've got the city of Cali, Bogota, Medellin, Bucaramanga, uh, Barranquilla. Then this over here is Panama and Panama City. Although I feel like that's the that's the cutoff. Panama would be like the border because otherwise it would have indicated so on the map. Again, there's 25 other maps that could have indicated so. But yeah, they could be Panamanian. Uh, they could be from Panama City. Also, uh, this right here is Ecuador. They could be from Ecuador and the city is Quito. This one right here. So they could be from there. Uh, this is a tiny little part of Peru. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd say it's rather unlikely that they're from Peru. They could be, but it's only a, a tiny little bit that's on the map. Again, if it was meant to be, we would see more of it. So uh, they could be from Brazil, but it's likely the very top, the very north of Brazil, the state of Roraima. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong. We've got the country of Venezuela. So they could be Venezuelan. And the cities that are highlighted are Maracaibo, Valencia, Caracas, they could be from Aruba, from Curaçao. They could be from Trinidad and Tobago. They could be from Granada, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, or Montserrat as well. Any of these places, very valid, is all on the map. Very likely that they're from one of these places. They could also be from the country of Guyana. And we've got Georgetown that's highlighted. Here we've got Suriname and Paramaribo is highlighted and the French Guiana. So yeah, again, they could be from Brazil, but probably somewhere up north if they are. Take it however it resonates. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope that it was helpful. And if it was, let me know down below. Let's start a discussion. Tell me what pal you chose and let's see what other people got. Also, if you do appreciate the effort that went into this video, please consider liking the video so that it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love if as many people as possible were to see this video and subscribe to the channel. I always post fun pick a cards like this you wouldn't want to miss out on. If you do want a personal reading, the only way to get one is directly through the link in my description. That's going to lead you directly to my Etsy shop. Please never trust any scammers in the comment section. There are some pretending to be me asking you to message some sort of phone number. I would never ask you to do that and please also point it out when you see it. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.
Hey there, Group X. Welcome to your reading. I hope it finds you well. As you know, we're going to get to know the exact whereabouts of your soulmate with the help of this map. I've done almost all the readings now, and it's been a surprise every single time. I have no idea where this is going to take us. Well, we can try and guess. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so yeah, we'll find out in a second. Before we get to that, let's first of all find out a little background information, a little basic information about your person, about your soulmate. So the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is the Emperor. Wow. So this just gives me the impression that your soulmate has a lot of masculine energy, no matter what gender they are, that doesn't matter, but they have a lot of masculine energy. They have a lot of willpower. They're the kind of mind over heart person. In fact, uh, I feel like they might have a really hard time expressing their emotions and really telling you how they feel. This would be the alpha male archetype, if I was being honest. I feel like this person is just a natural born leader. They don't like to be told what to do, they're the ones that are in control. So when it comes to their job, they're likely some sort of boss or some sort of CEO. They are the reason why the whole company is being held together. Your person is very, very successful in their work life. There's some sort of, again, they're a boss. <laughs> also, when it comes to their zodiac sign, they're most likely going to be a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sag, a lot of vibrant, powerful energy. They are the initiator. Doesn't have to be a fire sign, but likely someone who embodies a lot of fire quality, okay? I'd say on the upside, your person is very, very reliable. They have a lot of integrity. I feel like their status is very important to them. Their reputation as well. I'm hearing the words reputation, status. They are very, very well established in whatever business they are in. And their, yeah, their status is very important to them, which naturally makes them someone with a lot of integrity. So whatever they say they'll do, they'll actually end up doing. This is great because you'll always know where they're at. They're not going to play games. They're not going to be a, you know, a drama queen or whatever. This person is very, very mature in that sense. They're looking for a healthy relationship with someone who also is very honest, who can tell you up front how they feel. I feel like this person has just gotten a little tired of all the games, of all the chasing and all that. On the downside, this person can sometimes come across as a little aggressive or maybe emotionless, like you would tell this person, gosh, you're so stubborn all the time, like use your heart for once. But this is definitely a mind over heart person. But I feel like they have also conditioned themselves into this way of thinking because I'm just getting a a job related message. It's a very competitive field. And if they let their heart take over, they would lose themselves pretty quickly. Nonetheless, a very reliable person, a solid person. This is the type of person who's going to make a lifelong commitment and actually stick to it. So they're probably not going to promise too much. But what they do say, they trust me, they will end up doing. I'm not sure if they're the one that you're meant to spend the rest of your life with. But they're that one person that leaves like the biggest mark on you, like the biggest impression, like you learn so much from that person. And yeah, sometimes their words, I feel like they can come across as a little bit harsh. That's the message that I'm getting. They also have some sort of uh, connection to their father. Maybe they're named after their father or uh, yeah, their father has something to do with, a, that, with, a, with their name. That's the message that I'm getting. Are they going to have a name that means like mastery or stability or the leader or something like that? So yeah, let's find out where your person is from. <laughs> the most anticipated part. Keep in mind, I did do 26 piles in order so I would be able to uh, get as specific as possible with each one of these maps. And I will be giving you a very specific place in a moment. So I'm going to need you to interpret the message in whatever way you see fit. Okay, I'm just a messenger. You're meant to interpret this message. So this could be this could be pertaining to anything where your person was born, where they're now living, working, residing. But it could also be where their ancestry is, where their roots are, their origins. Okay, or maybe this is the place that you will meet. Please interpret this message in however way you see fit. Where is group X is soulmate from? Let's find out. Okay. 
Europe. Eastern or Southern Europe is what I'm getting. There's a bunch of countries on this map. I've had maps where it was mainly one or two countries. There's a lot of countries. We've got the whole Balkan area uh, here where they could be from. So let's just start off from the top. Ooh. So they could be from Slovenia. Okay, Slovenia. By the way, I do believe that wherever this map cuts off is the definite cutoff of where they could be from. Because if they were meant to be from anywhere more up north or down south, the map would indicate so. Again, there's 25 other maps that could have said so. So I do believe this cutoff is for a reason. They are somewhere uh, confined within the spaces of this map, your soulmate, okay? So they could be from Slovenia, uh, Croatia, I believe the entirety or most of Croatia is on this map. And then there's some highlighted cities. I believe those could be hot spots where a lot of people live, perhaps. Or maybe since a lot of people are going to be watching this reading, this is where your soulmate is most likely going to be from. So we've got the city of Zagreb and Split. Then we've got Bosnia. And the city of Sarajevo is highlighted. Uh, Serbia, Novi Sad, Belgrade, and Niš. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong. Kosovo and Albania. The city of Tirana is highlighted here. Then we've got a little bit of Greece, uh, Thessaloniki. And that's the only highlighted city. I do believe if they are from Greece, they're likely from the mainland. Probably not an isle or an island, because again, the map could have indicated so. Uh, then we've also got Bulgaria and the cities of Sofia and Plovdiv are also highlighted here. So they, your soulmate could be from one of these places. And we've got Romania. They could be from Timisoara, uh, Craiova. I don't know what this is. I'm honestly going to have to cheat a little bit and open this one up on my computer screen as well. Like I did with a lot of the maps. Um, oh, this is Bu Bucharest, I think. Yeah, Bucharest. So it could be from Bucharest as well. But I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't go much... Uh, farther than that. So they could be from Bucharest or from Romania in general. You would have a Romanian soulmate. This is Hungary, but there's not a lot of Hungary on this map. Uh, I believe this would be the city of Szeged. That's what the, the that's what my screen is saying. So yeah, they could be from here. Pretty much the whole Balkan area that I'm seeing. This where your soulmate could be from. And we've got a lot of Italy as well. Save this one for last. Uh, this is the city of Venice right here. It could be from the city of Venice. If they are Italian, they're likely from the south of Italy. Like I call this the shoe because it looks like a shoe or like a boot. I'm not sure if you've heard this term before. Uh, but this is San Marino, so they could be from San Marino. Bunch of cities highlighted. They could be from Rome, from Pescara, from Foggia, from ne Naples, Napoli, uh, Salerno, Bari, Taranto, Lecce. It could be from any of these places. Uh, obviously, it's not just the cities, these cities. It could be from anywhere from here. These are just hot spots. Again, I wouldn't go much more south than this, but please use your own intuition and whatever it tells you. Oh yeah, North Macedonia. I don't know why I mentioned it. I didn't see it. Yeah, North Macedonia is uh, here as well. Montenegro, did I say Montenegro? Gosh, no, probably not. Okay, yeah, Montenegro, North Macedonia, just as valid. Like, everything you see on here is where they could be from. Uh, yeah, Podgorica is highlighted as well. Maybe that might mean something to some of you. All right, I hope this was helpful to some of you guys. I hope that you resonated with it or that you could make use of this information. And yeah, if you do appreciate the effort that went into this video, please consider liking the video so that it gets recommended to more people. Also, subscribe to my channel. I always post fun pick a cards like this. And tell me what pal you chose down below. Let's start a discussion in the comments and also see what other people have got. And if you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is directly through the link in my description that's going to lead you to my Etsy shop. Please never trust any scammers in the comment section pretending to be me asking you to message some sort of phone number to get a reading. I would never ever do that. If you want a reading, you've got to be the one to initiate it. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and goodbye. Hey there, Group Y. I hope you're as excited today as I am. As you know, today we're going to get to know the exact whereabouts of your soulmate. Where are they from or in? So we are going to give you a very detailed map 
here. But before we get to that, let's find out some basic background information about your soulmate. Who actually is this person? So the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is the tower. And right away, I'm getting the feeling that this person is sort of responsible or played a big role when it comes to your spiritual awakening. Nonetheless, they made you realize something very profound. Maybe this is a philosophy that they made you realize that is now part of the way that you live your life. It is a truth that you recognized because of the fact that you met them or maybe it was something that they taught you. And this meeting was bound to happen or maybe if this is in the future, this meeting is bound to happen because this person is supposed to teach you something very groundbreaking that changes the way that you see the world and your life and everything in totality. I am going to say this is a very unexpected meeting, so it's not like this was super planned. This was definitely divinely orchestrated. That is the, that's the word, that's the phrase that I'm getting for you, Group Y. And I'm also thinking this person is very, very different from what you're used to. Uh, dating in some type of way or what even if this is a uh, platonic or romantic doesn't really matter but this is a very unusual type of connection this person really really inspired something within you like you saw the way that they live their life or there was something about them that made you think wow I can do it too there's there's not just this romantic attraction here that I'm seeing, or even if this is a platonic connection, it doesn't matter. It could be romantic, could be friendship, whatever it is. It's not just that admiration, but also this feeling like, hey, I'm inspired. There's a lot of inspiration here. Like, I can do this too. Like, I feel like you, you're not quite sure if you want to be with this person or if you want to be le like this person. You want to be with them, but you also want to become more like them. That, that's the kind of way I see it here with your pile. So I hope that makes sense for you. Or again, you're, it's going to make sense when you meet them because this person is actually, I feel like, supposed to act as some sort of way shower for you. They come into your life to show you how a lot of things are to be done and they are meant to be an inspiration for you. And when you see them, when you meet them, when you're around them, you feel so inspired, like, hey, I can be whoever I want to be as well. This is the kind of message that I'm getting. This person just makes it a lot easier because you see a living, walking example of what you want to be. <laughs> okay? Uh, when it does come to their name, I'm getting it could be like a rather long or confusing name that a lot of people get wrong when they try to write it out or pronounce. It's a very long and confusing name. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Maybe this is their last name or something about maybe even their first or middle name. Okay, also they could have multiple names, go by multiple names, or as I said, like really complicated names. Could also be a name that means like solid or the, even the dangerous. I'm getting something about this connection is very fiery. Like you're playing with fire. I don't know why I'm hearing like oh, when you're around this person, you're also playing with fire. There's a little bit of maybe a little bit of secrecy here at first or at first you guys don't really want to make it official or something like that. Could also be the case. Remember, it's a general reading. So only take the information that resonates with you. Also, when it comes to fiery, I'm getting that they're likely a fire sign. When it comes to like the elements, they're most likely going to be a fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, watch out for those. They don't have to be. If not, they likely embody a lot of fire energy. I see them as an initiator. I really do see this person, your soulmate, as someone who really does not GAF. So... Yeah, on the other hand, they could have some quite controversial opinion where you would think, okay, but at least you're honest, you know, that kind of vibe. So yeah, it's however you see it. This person could be very upfront, very blunt. That's what I'm getting. What you see is what you're going to get. You're always going to know exactly what they're thinking. They're not going to make a secret, you know. Sometimes this can also hurt you a little bit because they're just so open and honest. If they're not interested in someone, they would also let them know quite easily, you know. I'm also getting that this could be 
a power couple that you guys are, like you really inspire some sort of change in this world. Like your powers combined, you and their power combined can make a huge change in this world or like in some sort of community or like in some sort of area of your life, you can make a big change when you only combine the two powers, your power and their power. You're actually meant to change something together or like make a dream come true together. Maybe even have a shared income or something, but you guys are very, very powerful together. This is what I'm going to say, okay? So that's all you need to know. Now let's get to where they are from. Keep in mind, I did 26 piles in order so that I would be able to get as specific as possible with each and every one of these maps. And this will be a very specific place on this earth. So if it doesn't resonate, maybe it's not your pile. However, I would like to say if you were drawn to this pile, I do think there is some sort of truth in this what I'm about to reveal to you. I don't know where it is myself. So I'm just gonna say, it could be where they were born, where they were now living, studying, residing, whatever they consider their home, but it could also be where their ancestry is from, where their roots are, okay, their origins. So I'm just the messenger. I need you to be the interpreter and interpret this message in whatever way you see fit. Now let's find out where is Pile Y's soulmate from. Oh, okay, okay. So your soulmate is European or from Europe or in Europe. Maybe this is also where you will meet in Europe. So let's go over all these places. We've got, let's start off with uh, up here. They could be from the UK. They could be British or English. Some of the cities are highlighted here. I believe those are just hotspots where a lot of people live. But again, since a lot of people are watching this video, I believe these could be places where your soulmate is most likely from. Maybe you're encouraged to look in those cities that are highlighted, okay? So yeah, uh, we do have the city of Glasgow, Birmingham, and London that are highlighted here. So they could be from any of those places. They don't have to be from these exact cities, I'm just saying, but it's very likely that a lot of your uh, soulmates are. <laughs> okay, we've got the Isle of Man. And we've got France, and the only uh, city that's highlighted here is Paris, so they could be from Paris. We've got Switzerland, okay. Could be Swiss, we've got Luxembourg, we've got Belgium and Netherlands. So the cities of Amsterdam and Brussels are also highlighted, so they could be from one of those places. Then we've got Germany and the cities of Hamburg, Berlin, Hanover, and Brunswick are highlighted. So they could be from any of those places as well. They could be German, your soulmate could be German. They could be Danish, we've got Denmark. Copenhagen is also highlighted. Keep in mind, I don't think they're gonna be from outside of these borders. I mean, obviously they could be, but again, there's 25 other piles that could have indicated so, so I don't think they're gonna be from much more up north or down south than what we see on this map. We've got the Czech Republic and Prague. We've got Austria and Vienna, Slovakia and, uh, is that Bratislava? It, it could be, I think it is. Oh, Budapest, that's Budapest. Yeah, this is Budapest. So they could be Hungarian as well. It could be Slovakian, Polish, Austrian, Czech, uh, Czech, Czech, I think that's how you say it. Slovenian as well. We've got the city of Zagreb, so they could be from Croatia as well, okay? So a lot of different countries on this map. I've had maps where there was mostly one or two countries for the most part. But uh, for you, it seems to be very, very European. Whoopsie. So we've got a tiny little bit, maybe the top north part of Italy. They could also be from there. Could be from the top part. Your message is your soulmate, if you are Italian or from Italy, or we're looking for some sort of confirmation about Italy. I don't know why I'm getting that. Someone here was wanting to hear about Italy. Then they are definitely from the top part of uh, Italy, okay? So not from the coast, more like the... Uh, you know, what you see on here, we've got Milano right here. And yeah, they could be from any of these places. I do believe it's the entirety of Switzerland of most of these countries that are on here entirely. So yeah, it could be from any of those countries really. 
and let's see what we've got here. Slovenia and a little bit of Croatia, okay? If they are from Croatia, they're likely from the capital right here from Zagreb. This is your map. I hope it was helpful. I hope you resonated with it. I hope it made sense to you. And if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, please subscribe to my channel. I always upload fun pick a cards like this and like the video if possible so that it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love if as many people as possible were to see this video. Also, let's start a discussion down below. Tell me what pal you chose, what kind of places resonated with you. If you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is directly through the link in my description that's gonna take you to my Etsy shop. Please never trust any scammers in the comment section asking you to message some sort of phone number. They might look like me, they might have my name, but keep in mind those are fake profiles created to scam you. Please don't trust it and also point it out when you see it. Thank you guys so much for being here and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Hey there group Z or Z. Welcome to your reading. I hope it finds you well and as you know today we're going to get to know the exact whereabouts of your soulmate. You're the last group what I'm doing and I just want to say woo what a ride it's been. We've seen places from all over the world. We've I think we've pretty much covered every single country or most of the countries, okay? We've probably left some out, but I feel like a, a large part of the world has already been covered. I can only guess where this is gonna take us. I'm not sure. As with all the pals, it's been a surprise and this one will be a surprise as well. I don't know where this is gonna take us, but yeah, before we find out the exact whereabouts of your soulmate, let's get to know them a little better. Let's understand who is this person. Let's find out some background information and the tarot card that your soulmate is represented by is the Ace of Cups or the Suit of Cups, so to say, because here's what I did. I added, uh, since it's 26 piles, I added all 22 major arcanas and then I added one from each minor suit and you got the Ace of Cups, which just tells me this is going to be a very, very intense connection. It's most likely referring to a romantic soulmate of yours, okay? So there's platonic soulmates, there's romantic soulmates, but this is, I feel like, a very intense romantic connection that you have, have had, or are about to have with someone. The way that you know this is your soulmate is because you can simply feel it, and no one can tell you otherwise. Deep in your heart, you know, hey, this is the most intense experience I have ever had. I just know this is my soulmate. And this is your sort of confirmation. The only way to tell is based on your own intuition. You will simply know. You will simply have this intrinsic knowing, this confirmation, this is my soulmate. I can tell, this is very passionate, this is intense, this is very, very romantic. I am gonna say, since it's the Ace of Cups, this is likely an experience you haven't had yet that is still in the future because this just this card the whole card just talks about a new experience coming in so this could be something that's happening to you soon or in the near or distant future all right and this is going to be such an intense emotional experience you're really really truly falling in love with this person i feel like this is the kind of person who shows you what true love is really like and all about this is a very committed soul this is a person with honest intentions. They're also full of love. Like they have so much to give. Nonetheless, they're very in touch with themselves. This person is beautiful in the way that they just express their emotions so freely. It's like they wear their heart on their sleeves. You know, they're not afraid to show you how happy they are and laugh with you, have the best time of your life at the same time. If they feel like crying, they're gonna cry in front of you. They're gonna let you know exactly how they feel, how what makes them upset. This is the kind of connection, I'm not sure if they're like this with everybody, but it's like you guys have opened up to each other in a way where you're completely transparent. There's nothing hidden, everything's on display. And it's like you, you guys trust each other so much there is this mutual understanding and like, hey, I can be my complete, true, utmost self with this person. I feel like they know a lot of your secrets. You're gonna know a lot of their secrets. There is like something I feel like where you say, especially when it comes to, mm, is it relationships where you say, hey, I would never ever tell someone about this because like I would be afraid of how they would react. Maybe this is about something that's very close to your heart that you sort of keep a secret from a lot of people. 
I don't know what it is since it's a general reading, you're gonna have to know what this message is about, but this person will make it surprisingly easy for you to open up to them about it. And you're also bonding through this confession a little bit. That's what I'm getting. It's the message that I'm getting. At times, this kind of romance might seem like, might remind you of a movie a little bit. Like this might be the a true romance that you see in movies and love stories. And I haven't had a lot of piles like this. I think there was maybe one pile that was like the, a little bit like this as well. But this is like maybe a prince coming in on, on, the, on his horse. Obviously not literally, but it's gonna feel like that, you know? I'm getting there's like a prince or a prince princess really entering your life here that really has all the qualities that you would want. This person, by the way, is very, very well behaved. Maybe you've been attracting a lot of people who just don't know how to act, who don't know how to behave. This person has a lot of morals, a lot of values as well. I just feel like they know how to behave. That's what I'm getting. And they know how to talk to pretty much anyone. Like they're very respectful. This person is great with parents. Like they make the great uh, son or daughter-in-law. That's what I'm getting. Like parents usually love them. It's another message that I'm getting, okay? Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. Oh yeah, water sign. Cups is the suit of water. So they're most likely gonna be a water sign, I'm pretty sure. They have a lot of water in their chart. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This just tells me they're insanely creative, very emotional. They do some sort of art form. They love for, I'm, I'm getting a painting most likely, or they do some sort of other art. Could be anything really, but I got, they, they do something with color. So I was thinking about like painting. I heard like they do work with color, okay? Uh, but it could also be like maybe uh, crafting something perhaps, and they design it in a lot of different colors. I don't know what this is about, but yeah, maybe it's gonna make sense when you end up knowing this person. Uh, yeah, now let's get to the most anticipated part of the reading. So keep in mind, I did 26 piles so that I would be able to get as specific as possible with each and every one of the piles. This map could be pertaining to anything. Maybe this is where they were born or moved to, now living, working, residing. This could be what they call their home, but this could also be where their ancestry is from where their origins are, okay? So yeah, I'm just the messenger. I need you to be the interpreter and interpret this message in however way you see fit. It's still a general reading after all, but I do try to make my readings as specific as possible. So let's see, let's ask where is group Z's soulmate from? Oh, so they're Amer American. <sighs> okay. Uh, Okay, so I'm getting your soulmate is American or Mexican, or maybe both, or either. Who knows? So, West Coast of America. Very interesting. I mean, obviously, like, we, Los Angeles is right there. San Francisco is right there. San Jose, Sacramento. They, I think this is the entirety of California that is on this map. And there's a bunch of cities highlighted. I believe those are just hot spots where a lot of people live. But at the same time, since a lot of people are watching this reading, this could be where your soulmate is most likely from. Maybe if you've been feeling called to any of these cities or even any of these states, this is just a confirmation. Hey, your soulmate could be from there. So yeah, when it comes to California, those are the cities that are highlighted. Sacramento, San Francisco, San Jose, uh, Los Angeles. They don't have to be from any of those cities. They could be from pretty much anywhere that's on this map. However, I wouldn't go uh, much more down south or up north or into this direction either, because if they were meant to be from any other place, it would indicate so on the map. Keep in mind, there's 25 other maps that could have said so. So I really do think these are the definite borders and they're from somewhere here that's on this map. And we've also got Las Vegas, we've got Nevada. Las Vegas is highlighted here. They could be from there, they could be from Oregon. This must be Portland. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be Portland. Then this is a little bit of Montana as well. They could be from Wyoming, from Utah, from Colorado. Denver is right here, I think. Oh, it's not highlighted. I don't know why not. So uh, they could be from New Mexico. And they could also be from Arizona. We've got the city of Phoenix also highlighted. So somewhere along the West Coast or a little more 
on the countryside, perhaps. This is where your soulmate is from. They are likely American, uh, with a small chance that they even live in Mexico, because we do have a little bit of Mexico here. We've got the city of Tijuana and uh, Ciudad Juarez. There could be a small chance that they actually do live in Mexico, or maybe they're from this place. Uh, we do have the Baja California that is highlighted. They could be from this place as well, maybe up north from Mexico, but I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't go much more down south because there's, again, plenty of other maps that could have indicated so. But yeah, uh, trust your own gut instinct, trust your own intuition if you feel like they're from somewhere else, maybe they are. you're probably right. Again, with this whole connection, I'm, I was getting the message, trust your intuition on it. If you think they're your soulmate, they probably are, you can feel this. It's not something you can rationally explain, it's simply a feeling, an instinct that you get. An intrinsic confirmation, all right? So yeah, uh, this is your map. Again, they could be from any of these places, most likely. Or maybe this is also where you will meet them, okay? While you are there as well, if you ever do plan on going there. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope that this video was helpful. And if you do appreciate the effort that went into this, please consider subscribing to the channel. I always post fun pick a cards like this. And please also like the video so that it gets recommended to more people. I personally would love if as many people as possible were able to see and watch this video. Now let's start a discussion down below. Tell me what pal you chose and what resonated with you. And let's also read what results other people got. Now, uh, if you want a personal reading, the only way to get one is directly through the link in my description that's gonna take you to my Etsy shop. Please do not trust scammers in the comment section because there are some about to pretend to be me. I would never ask you to message any sort of phone number on WhatsApp in exchange for a reading. If you want one, you've gotta initiate it, okay? So please also point it out when you see them. So with that being said, thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed your reading and until next time, goodbye.